Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. Sign in for three years, starting from capturing the goddess. Chapter 21 Mr. Yao knew that he could not afford to provoke Ning Luo, so he became flattering and did not dare to fight Ning Luo's ideas again. Oh, how did Mr. Yao know that I was assassinated? And this is Mr. Yao's sight. Who dares to move Mr. Yao's guests? Ning Luo asked calmly, could it be that this assassination was planned by Mr. Yao himself? Bar. At this moment, Mr. Yao was shocked. This young man is not old, but his mind is so meticulous, and he has such a strong strength at a young age, he is definitely not an ordinary person. How can the forces behind him be mediocre if he can cultivate such a child? He assassinated Ning Luo this time, and it seems that he has already caused a catastrophe. How come, the little brother is the guest of our Wanyaojai, and even the life-saving benefactor of Xiao Yishan, how can we avenge our grudges and assassinate the life-saving benefactor? Mr. Yao said quickly. It's just that the little brother is so skilled, I don't know who it is. Mr. Yao said quickly. When Ning Luo heard this, Mr. Yao had obviously been subdued. It seemed that Mr. Yao was afraid of the power behind him. That's right, he had such behavior at a young age. How could he not be afraid? But this is still a good thing for Ning Luo. He can't see through Mr. Yao's realm, which means that his realm is higher than himself, power. Ha <laughs> ha, Mr. Yao has good eyesight, I wonder if Mr. Yao has heard of Yunlin Peak. Suddenly, Mr. Yao was stunned in place, as if he were petrified, he couldn't believe it. The top of Yunlin sect is Yunlanzong, and Yunlanzong is not far from Qingshan town. How could he have not heard of Yunlanzong's prestige? Yunlanzong has a sect leader who is a strong fighting emperor. I heard that there is also a strong fighting sect. Such a behemoth, even the Jama Empire is a little jealous, how dare they provoke it? Unexpectedly, Ning Luo turned out to be a member of the Yunlan sect. However, at such a young age, you can break through the strength of the fighters. In the Jama Empire, besides the Yunlanzong, what sect can do? You turned out to be a disciple of Yunlanzong. Mr. Yao was extremely surprised. He quickly flattered and said, Little brother Ningluo, I was negligent before, so that the gangster could take advantage of it and be disrespectful. Don't worry, you live in my Wanyaojai, and you will never be touched by anyone again. Mr. Yao continued. Ningluo didn't laugh and wanted to move his own. Isn't he the same as Mr. Yao? But now is not the time to tear his skin. First, he doesn't know the strength of Mr. Yao, and secondly, there are a lot of Mr. Yao's men here. If he does start, I'm afraid he won't be able to take advantage of much. Thank you, Mr. Yao. Ning Luo gave a meaningful smile. Mr. Yao hurriedly said, Come on, drag these corpses down, and you must check them carefully. Who are these people? Seeing Mr. Yao shouting to catch the thief, Ning Luo smiled. Hey, life is like this. You have no money and no power, and no one cares about you. When you were rich and powerful, you were the uncle. Seeing Mr. Yao's flattering expression, Ning Luo couldn't help sighing. The life of a powerful person is so unpretentious and boring. After Mr. Yao knew that Ning Luo was a disciple of the Yunlin sect, he immediately dispelled the idea of slaughtering the fat sheep. Ning Luo is a disciple of the Yun Lanzong, and even the Jama Empire is very jealous of the Yun Lanzong. How could he be able to provoke him? If he killed Ning Luo, he would be found out sooner or later by virtue of Yun Lanzong's power. When the time comes, I'm afraid I won't die well. The only way now is to please Ning Luo, hoping that Ning Luo can turn big things into small things. Then the old man won't disturb little brother Ning to rest, Mr. Yao said immediately. As Mr. Yao said, he looked at the little doctor immortal intentionally or unintentionally, and then said, little doctor immortal, take care of Ning Luo to rest. Mr. Yao went out and left here. At this time, Xiao Yishan was extremely shocked. She looked at Ning Luo and said, Ning Luo, it seems that you were right. This is the poison of Mr. Yao. But why did Mr. Yao do this? Ning Luo smiled. This kind of poison is called plague poison, it is contagious, and its symptoms are similar to plague. The only difference is that there is only one antidote to this poison, and that is Qingfeng San. Ning Luo has a secret book of refining medicine, which records medical knowledge and various medicine pill books. Moreover, this knowledge is automatically implanted into Ning Luo's memory by the system. 
In other words, when Ning Luo signed into the secret book of medicine pill, Ning Luo was a powerful physician and pharmacist. Qingfeng San, Xiao Yishan was also very surprised. Because Qingfeng powder is a low-cost medicine, it is very simple to refine, as long as a doctor can refine it. It's just that this kind of medicine is generally used to solve some barrier poisons, and I didn't expect it to be able to solve this plague poison. Mr. Yao has only one purpose in doing this, and that is to make endless huge profits. Think about it, if he infects the entire town with poison, then he will raise the price of this cheap Qingfeng San and sell it to how much money can the people in this town make. Ning Luo continued. Having said this, Xiao Yixian had already fully understood. It turned out that all this was a conspiracy of Mr. Yao, but how did Ning Luo know about it? And Ning Luo gave himself a medicine pill casually, is he a pharmacist? Xiao Yixian was very surprised to see this child who was about the same age as her. She had lost her parents since she was a child and matured very early, but in front of Ning Luo, he was not considered precocious. In Ning Luo's body, there seemed to be an adult's mind, which seemed very mature. At this time, the moon was shining. Ning Luo smiled and looked at the little doctor fairy and said, Mr. Yao asked you to take care of me, then, let's go to bed. At this time, little Dr. Xi'an blushed immediately, looked at Ning Luo in shock and asked, just, go to bed. Ning Luo smiled without saying a word. At this moment, little Dr. Xi'an's face flushed red immediately, and then he closed his eyes and came to Ning Luo's face, and stretched out his hand as if he was about to undress Ning Luo. At this time, I saw Ning Luo grabbing Xiao Yixian's hand with one hand. Little Dr. Xi'an was shocked immediately. His face became flushed. Ning Luo calmly looked at the little doctor immortal and said, Hee hee. I lie to you, I don't want you to serve and go to bed. However, this Mr. Yao is not a good person, so don't follow him in the future. Xiao Yixian slowly raised his head and looked at Ning Luo's gentle eyes, with a warmth in his heart. She nodded to Ning Luo, then gathered the courage to look at Ning Luo and said, Then. Then can I follow you? Ning Luo smiled and said, Of course. At this moment, Xiao Yixian looked at Ning Luo tenderly. By the way, Ning Luo, let's run away. Although you are a disciple of Yun Lanzong, but now we know his plan, maybe he will die with us. Xiao Yixian said immediately. Ning Luo smiled and said, Since he sent someone to kill me, I won't let this matter go so easily. Ning Luo, you must not do stupid things, Mr. Yao is an eight-star fighter, you can't beat him. Xiao Yixian quickly said. At this time, Ning Luo pulled the little doctor's arms and said, Don't worry, I have a sense of measure. At this moment, Ning Luo smiled coldly in his heart and said, Don't worry, I won't kill him so easily. I will ruin him first, and then kill him. Ning Luo's thinking has been transformed. This is not the peaceful age of the 21st century. This is the fighting spirit continent of the weaker prey to the strong. Here, strength is respected. Therefore, he can't relent in his heart. Although he has not experienced life and death, he has read many novels and knows the cruelty of this world. He has watched thousands of web articles and TV series. Those soft-hearted male protagonists are either letting the tiger go back to the mountain or the farmer saving the snake. So now, Ning Luo will not be soft-hearted to anyone. Since Mr. Yao has already been murderous against him, then he doesn't mind killing this Mr. Yao. Wan Yao Jai, Mr. Yao sat on the seat, extremely angry, and a cup was instantly squeezed by him. Unexpectedly, that kid turned out to be a member of the Yunlin sect. Mr. Yao said angrily. At this time, a guard said, Mr. Yao, I'm afraid that kid already knows that we did it. Mr. Yao nodded and thought for a while and said, Even if he knows it, it's okay. He has no evidence, and this is our territory. If he is a smart man, he will be quiet. If he completely offends me, even if he is Yun Yun. Disciple Lanzong, I don't care anymore. By the way, how is the plague plan going? Mr. Yao asked quickly. The villagers are almost infected. We can sell medicine tomorrow, said the guard. Mr. Yao nodded and said, This operation is the key to our wealth. We arrange our staff. I will never allow anyone to sabotage this operation. The next day, Ning Luo got up, at this time, Xiao Yixian also got up. Morning, Ning Luo smiled slightly. The little doctor fairy blushed, 
and greeted him quickly, morning. The two looked at each other, Xiao Yixian's face flushed with shame. At this moment, they suddenly heard a lively sound at the door. What happened? Xiao Yishan was a little puzzled. Ning Luo thought for a while and said, it may be Mr. Yao and they are about to start selling medicine. Ning Luo knew that Mr. Yao's ultimate goal was not to kill all the people in the town, but to keep them, squeeze them all the time, and squeeze all their oil and water out. Mr. Yao and they will definitely open their mouths, Xiao Yixian hurriedly said. Ning Luo smiled confidently and said, I'm afraid, he doesn't have this opportunity. Go, let's go and see. Ning Luo took the little doctor and walked out the door. At this time, Wan Yaojai was full of people. They were all people who had been poisoned by the plague. They came to Wan Yaojai because of the news from Wan Yaojai, saying they have prepared medicine for the plague. Xiao Yishan used to be in Wan Yaojai and healed many people's diseases, so many people believe in Xiao Yishan. Now Wan Yaojai has developed medicine, which is their life-saving medicine, so they have to grab it anyway, arrive. So they came to Wan Yaojai early in the morning and lined up, ready to buy medicine. At this time, Mr. Yao slowly walked out and came in front of everyone. The old fox smiled at the corner of his mouth. He looked at the residents of the town and said, Our town has a plague. This incident makes me feel bad. I can't sleep at night. I am a member of Qingxin Town. The residents of Qingxin Town are all it's my neighbor. I don't feel good when I see everyone getting sick. Therefore, we researched Wan Yao's eye day and night. Finally, through our continuous efforts, we finally developed a special medicine for this plague. At this time, the residents were very excited and shouted frantically. Great, we are finally saved. Wan Yao Jai is really our living bodhisattva. Mr. Yao, how much is a bottle of your medicine? Someone asked. Mr. Yao said without a smile, my medicine uses a lot of precious medicinal materials. It may cost more than 100 gold coins to make a bottle of medicinal materials. It is effective and can cure the plague. Of course, I also want to eat. It is not a charity organization. Therefore, I am going to sell this medicine to everyone at a friendly price. 100 gold coins per bottle. 100 gold coins. The villagers were suddenly shocked. Everyone looked at the owner of Wanyaojai in amazement. For 100 gold coins, they were all farmers. They had no vindictiveness. They usually planted some grain and had no spare money at all. 100 gold coins is equivalent to their lifetime effort, and the whole lifetime effort is given to Wan Yaojai. This is nothing short of a vampire. Hearing this, Xiao Yixian was shocked. Qing Feng San is just a general low-grade medicine. The medicinal materials don't even need a gold coin. How can Mr. Yao sell it so expensive? Xiao Yixian quickly said. Ning Luo stood next to the little doctor immortal and coldly said, he is a vampire. If he doesn't suck up the blood of the villagers, how can he give up? At this time, Xiao Yixian stood and went out, No, I can't let Mr. Yao cheat the villagers like this, I'm going to stop him. With that said, Xiao Yixian got into the crowd. Ning Luo followed behind. Xiao Yixian came to Mr. Yao and said, Mr. Yao, how can you do this? Qing Feng San can make medicinal materials without a gold coin. How can you collect a hundred gold coins from the villagers? The villagers were suddenly shocked when he said this. It's too dark to make a medicine made with one gold coin of medicinal materials. Mr. Yao, you can't do this, 100 gold coins, where can we find 100 gold coins? A villager said. That's right, we have the old and the young, even if we smash the pot and sell the iron, we can't make up 100 gold coins. You still let us live. Mr. Yao, show mercy and save us. At this time, the scene was out of control for a while, and the whole audience became uproarious. Immediately, Mr. Yao showed an extremely powerful aura, and the strength of the eight-star fighter burst out. Boom! There was a loud noise and dust was everywhere. Everyone fell silent. He looked at the villagers and coldly said, I will sell this medicine for 100 gold coins today. I want to see if your life is expensive or my medicine is expensive. If you don't buy it, you can just wait for death. Although this medicine is only worth one gold coin, you can't buy it elsewhere. You can only buy it if you can. Then even if I sell a hundred gold coins, you can only buy it, because if you don't buy it, you can only wait to die. This is the huge profits of monopoly industries. They are just ordinary people, and they can't help it. 
Go to another doctor, but where do you look for it? They can only appoint obediently and be at the mercy of others. Mr. Yao, please, be cheaper, we really can't get a hundred gold coins. Yeah, Mr. Yao, we are all human lives, can you really not save it? Mr. Yao, please, please help us. Mr. Yao looked at the crowd underneath coldly. This is human nature, not right, it should be said to be servile. In order to survive, even a hundred gold coins are not expensive. As long as they drag on, even if they sell iron, they will definitely pay for the medicine. After dealing with the villagers' affairs, Mr. Yao turned his head and looked at the little doctor immortal and said angrily, You white-eyed wolf, eat things inside and out. I offer you delicious and delicious food. You came to tear down daddy's desk and watch me. I won't kill you. With that said, Mr. Yao raised his hand and was about to hit the little doctor immortal. Xiao Yixian closed her eyes, because it was not the first time she was beaten. But Mr. Yao's palm did not fall for a long time. When he opened his eyes, he saw a tall man standing in front of Own. Although he is not tall or big, he is extremely tall in the heart of Xiao Yixian at this moment. He squeezed Mr. Yao's big hand and stood in front of Xiao Yixian. Ningluo, this own person who saves the people has been taking care of himself from the moment he met, and now he also stands up to protect himself when he is in danger. Mr. Yao, hitting women is not a good habit, Ning Luo said lightly. After seeing Ning Luo, Mr. Yao was shocked. How could he come to help the little doctor immortal? He is a member of the Yunlin sect, so he is not easy to provoke. Suddenly, he quickly closed his hand and said with a flattering smile, Ning Luo young master, why did you come out? Ning Luo smiled slightly, you are going to hit my friend, and I won't come out again. Wouldn't it be that you will behave badly and behave badly? Seeing Ning Luo coming out, Mr. Yao was still a little worried. After all, Ning Luo is a member of the Yunlin sect, and because he is so talented, he should still be an important disciple of the Yunlin sect. Mr. Yao said with a flattering smile, Little brother Ning Luo, Xiao Yixian is a slave girl I adopted. You shouldn't be so angry about her. If little brother Ninglu likes it, I can give it to the little brother. For the current Mr. Yao, he does not want Ning Luo to stop him from making money. Now, he can earn 100 gold coins with a bottle of medicine. With such a large population in Qingshan town, there may be thousands of people, so he can make a lot of money. How much money can a little doctor make for him? Therefore, instead of letting Ning Luo destroy his own plan, it is better to send the little doctor immortal to him directly, so as to settle the matter. Okay, then I would like to thank Mr. Yao. Ning Luo smiled. Suddenly, the little doctor was stunned. What do you mean, Mr. Yao gave himself to Ning Luo, but Ning Luo accepted it. She didn't expect Ning Luo to be such a person, and the tall image she had just established in her heart collapsed. It turned out that Ning Luo saved herself because of her own body. I also thought that Ning Luo was a different person. Xiao Yixian lowered his head in loss. Mr. Yao looked at Ning Luo with a very smug smile. What Yun Lanzong disciple is, it can be done without being a woman. But at this moment, Ning Luo continued to speak again, however, I want Xiao Yishan, and I want your Wanyaojai. This statement came out, whether it was the little doctor, Mr. Yao, the guards around Mr. Yao, and the people below, they all looked at the young man on the stage in astonishment. They couldn't believe their own ears. He wants Mr. Yao's Wanyaojai. Why is this kid so arrogant? You know, Mr. Yao is an eight-star fighter, and Wanyaojai is the painstaking effort of Mr. Yao. It is more important than his life. Isn't this kid going to die? At this time, Mr. Yao's expression gradually became gloomy and cold, Little brother Ningluo, what do you mean? Isn't my meaning very clear? In addition to the little doctor immortal, I also want your Wan Yaojai. Ning Luo repeated. At this moment, Xiao Yixian's eyes brightened. It seems that before, I blamed Ning Luo. He is indeed a different person. She looked at Ning Luo's face expectantly, and Ning Luo's confident smile was deeply frozen in her heart. Mr. Yao's face turned pale, looking at Ning Luo, his tone also became gloomy, and coldly said, Ning Luo, I believe you are a disciple of the Yun Lanzong, so I will give you a little bit of face. But you don't have to make an inch of it. Wan Yao Jai is my life's painstaking effort. If you want to snatch it, you are snatching my life. 
Quote, Don't blame me for not warning you. If you urge me, even if you are a disciple of the Yunlin sect, you will not be able to get out of this Qingxin town today. Mr. Yao's momentum suddenly gathered. Wan Yaojai was his painstaking effort, and if Ningluo wanted Wan Yaojai, it was equal to killing him. How could he give it? At this time, even if he was afraid of Yunlanzong, even if he was afraid of Ningluo's identity, but Ningluo was going to kill him, how could he not be desperate? He had already given little doctor immortal to Ningluo, but he didn't expect this Ningluo to know what's good or bad. Oh, is it? Ningluo suddenly laughed. He stepped forward step by step, came to the villagers, looked at the thousands of villagers and said, I want to tell you a secret. Do you know why you got this plague? Ning Luo asked while looking at the villagers. As soon as he said this, Mr. Yao was suddenly shocked. Ning Luo, what are you going to do? Mr. Yao asked immediately. The villagers held their breath and waited for Ning Luo to continue talking. With a smile on his face, Ning Luo didn't pay attention to Mr. Yao, and then said, You have this plague without warning, whether there is a source of infection, how can you get the plague? So what you have is not the plague, but the poisoning. Poisoned. As soon as this remark came out, no matter who the villagers were, they looked at Ning Luo on the stage with great surprise. Poisoned. How can they be poisoned? Who poisoned it? What poison in it? Ning Luo. Mr. Yao shouted sharply. Hearing this, Mr. Yao's face had already turned blue. He understood that Ning Luo wanted to sabotage his plan. No one can destroy his plan, even a disciple of Yun Lanzong, not even. Ning Luo looked at Mr. Yao and smiled. What's the matter, is it a guilty conscience? But, I said, I want a little doctor, and I want your Wan Yaojai. Ning Luo looked at the villagers and continued, the poison you planted is called plague poison. You only need Qingfeng San to treat it, and this Qingfeng San is very cheap. You can make a bottle with less than one gold coin. Those who are poisoned, I'm afraid you don't need to say, you know. Suddenly, the crowd seemed to explode. Who poisoned it? Who is most beneficial to whom is the poison? Ning Luo said so obviously, how could they still not know? At this time, they originally had a grudge against Mr. Yao, and of course they believed it through Ning Luo's words. Mr. Yao, I didn't expect it to be you, you despicable profiteer, you must die. Mr. Yao, why are we from Qingxin town sorry for you, you poisoned us. You will get retribution, you will be struck by lightning. The villagers have all transformed into Zuan people, and they continue to greet the 18th generation of Mr. Yao's ancestors. At this moment, Mr. Yao's face was so dark that he was wringing out of the water, his face became extremely gloomy, and his teeth were constantly grinding and making noises. At this moment, he was extremely angry. Ning Luo, this kid, actually broke his plan, so no matter who he is, even if he is a disciple of Yun Lanzong, what about it? Dare to destroy his plan, no matter who it is, he must die. Ning Luo, Mr. Yao sternly shouted with a dark face. What good is it for you to pierce me, do you really think that I dare not kill you? Although you are a disciple of the Yunlin sect, many of the disciples of the Yunlin sect were eaten by magical beasts. After I killed you, I threw it to magical beasts to eat. Do you think Yun Lanzong was able to find out that it was mine? Quote, I respect you three points, you don't have to make an inch. Mr. Yao said sharply. Ning Luo raised the corner of his mouth and smiled softly. Kill me, if you can do it, then come on. At this time, Mr. Yao turned his head and looked at the villagers coldly and said, Yes, I did it, but what about it? You only have two choices now, either pay the money and I will clear the wind for you, or you will be poisoned to death by my poison. Mr. Yao said coldly. At this moment, everyone was quiet. That's right, even if they knew that it was Mr. Yao's black hand, what could they do? The antidote is in Mr. Yao's hands. They don't give money, and they have only a dead end. At this moment, there was a faint sneer from the stage, ha ha ha. Qingfengsen, can't it be made from the waste residue of my usual refining medicine? With this utterance, everyone focused on Ning Luo's body. Little brother, can you refine Qingfeng San? A villager asked. Ning Luo smiled faintly and said, If I can't disperse the breeze, how can I afford to be a pharmacist? Alchemist's three words come out. Suddenly, no matter who it was, they looked at Ning Luo in astonishment. 
Xingxin town is a small town, and there has never been a pharmacist. Now that a pharmacist came to Qingxin town, or a 14 or 5 year old pharmacist, how could they not be surprised? Ning Luo went on to say, Don't worry, everyone, if you need Qingfeng San, I can directly refine it and give it to everyone, everyone has a share. At this moment, the audience seemed to burst open, and everyone was cheering. They finally grabbed the straw, how could they be unhappy? But at this moment, Xiao Yixian's voice suddenly sounded, Ning Luo, be careful. At this moment, a powerful breath instantly enveloped Ning Luo, and the coercion of the eight-star fighter was immediately released. How could Ning Luo not know that he would drive Mr. Yao to a dead end when he did this, but he did it anyway. Therefore, he wants to save Xiao Yishan and all the residents of Qingxin town. The best way is to kill Mr. Yao. Otherwise, this huge vampire will suck up the whole town one day. What he has to do is to cut the weeds and roots. Mr. Yao is an eight-star fighter, but Ning Luo is not afraid. He was a person who had read the original work in his previous life. After Xiao Yan swallowed the fire of Qinglian Earth's heart, he dared to do it with Yunshan with the help of one-handed Buddha's Fury Lotus. His royal fire art was not inferior to Xiao Yan's Fen Ju. Can't do both third level. Suddenly, Mr. Yao's billowing coercion pressed down towards Ning Luo. Mr. Yao's face was dark and iron, and a gray grudge suddenly broke out. A long sword was cut down towards Ning Luo. A gray grudge suddenly fell on the ground. Boom! A huge crack suddenly split from the ground and rushed towards Ning Luo. Ning Luo uttered a word, and the end of the world immediately turned around, stepping on his foot to go to the sky, avoiding the attack. This Mr. Yao deserves to be an 8-star fighter, and his strength is indeed a bit strong, but Yu Ningluo's expectations are still a bit short. He can still handle an attack of this level. I saw Ningluo squeezing the sword in his hand, flying in the sky, and said lightly, Red Flames. Suddenly, a huge sword art fell from the sky and rushed towards Mr. Yao. With the powerful sword tactic with its violent attack power, Mr. Yao was shocked as he watched the sword tactic fall. He couldn't believe that such a powerful sword tactic was released from the hands of a 14 or 5 year old child. He didn't dare to take it hard, he could only keep avoiding. It's so powerful, it seems you must have a good cultivation technique. Mr. Yao suddenly showed a grim smile on his face. Don't do it and don't stop. Since you ruined my plan, I will kill you and snatch your cultivation technique. At that time, when Yun Lanzong comes here, I will leave. GG. His face is so gloomy, he didn't dare to touch Ning Luo before because he was afraid of Yun Lanzong. But Ning Luo forced him into the Jedi. He was unable to retreat and could only fight to the death. If Ning Luo was killed and his cultivation technique was robbed, he might have a chance to escape to other places. So he has made up his mind to kill Ning Luo. Jia Jia. Dot boy, die. Yellow tier advanced fighting skill Jian Feng Ju. Suddenly, the long sword in his hand was swung, and a sword chi was released. The mighty power immediately flooded between the heaven and the earth, and the rolling power kept coming. A white sword chi directly cut the air and slashed towards Ning Luo. Oh, do you want to compare swords with me? Ning Luo smiled at the corner of his mouth, and suddenly, using his fingers as a sword, a cyan sword chi was released. Profound level low level fighting skills, Qingmu Janju. Suddenly, the two quarrels collided, and a powerful sword chi burst out on the field. Boom, there was a violent explosion, and dust and smoke rose from the ground. The powerful Zhao Feng swept out immediately. The villagers standing in the front row directly don't overthrow Zhao Feng and fall to the ground. What a strong sword chi. Everyone sighed, Xiao Yixian stood aside, tightened his sleeves, and stood in the middle of the venue very worried. I don't know since when her emotions were controlled by Ningluo, and her sight was already inseparable from Ningluo. This teenager who was about the same age as her always helped herself and rescued herself when she was in trouble again and again. Oh, She doesn't want him to have an accident. The smoke dissipated. I saw the figure of two people slowly exposed. I saw Mr. Yao retreated a few steps, and blood spilled from the corner of his mouth. But Ning Luo was still standing in place, in white clothes, spotlessly clean. This, how can this be, so strong? The people looked at Ning Luo in shock and couldn't believe it. This young man can even shake Mr. Yao, the eight-star fighter. 
How can it be? Mr. Yao unexpectedly, lost. The guards looked surprised. They all knew that Mr. Yao was an eight-star fighter and Ning Luo was just a young man. How could he regret Mr. Yao? Mr. Yao was also extremely surprised, how could this kid be so powerful? He once again confirmed Ning Luo's extraordinary ness. However, the more extraordinary Ning Luo is, the better his cultivation technique fighting skills are. If you cultivate those cultivation technique fighting skills, you will definitely be stronger. He has no retreat, he can only kill Ning Luo. Boy, you forced me. With that said, Mr. Yao stood up, holding the sword art in his hand, and a powerful aura burst out. Yellow Tear Advanced Fighting Skill Hurricane Sword Squeeze. This is Mr. Yao's trick, and it is also his bottom of the box. He will never use it until the critical moment. Although he was a high-level Huang, his power was huge, and his only drawback was that he was too slow to cast spells and was easily interrupted by others, but Ning Luo stood in place, allowing him to easily perform his tricks. At this time, a grim smile appeared on his face, and he looked at Ning Luo coldly and said, it's over, go to hell. With that, a huge whirlwind formed a wave of sword chi, which suddenly slashed towards Ning Luo. Ning Luo stood there without fear. He faintly looked at sword chi who was standing over, and said softly, I haven't used this fighting technique yet, but now, it should be very suitable. As he said, he nodded his hands. The long sword in his hand pierced out instantly. Bright breeze and moon sword. One sword carries the breeze, and one sword invites the bright moon. Suddenly, I saw thousands of sword intents turned into an instant, like a breeze and a bright moon, cut in an instant. Boom, with a loud noise, Senbai's sword chi kept rushing towards Mr. Yao. Kai, I heard a loud noise. I saw the sword intent pierced through Mr. Yao's shoulder, and suddenly penetrated a hole of blood. Mr. Yao was shocked. He looked at Ning Luo in disbelief. How can it be? How could you hurt me? After all, Mr. Yao is an eight-star fighter, one star higher than Ning Luo, so his strength is not bad. After Ning Luo's blow, he didn't even die. At this moment, Mr. Yao was extremely surprised, his own tricks didn't work. His face was extremely blue, come on, come on with me and kill him. At this time, he ordered the own guard to besiege Ning Luo. Little Dr. Xi'an suddenly shouted, Ning Luo will refine Ching Feng San. He is dead, how do you live, don't you just look at it like this? At this time, the crowd was all angry and rushed up to fight with the guards. Even if the guards were fighters, they were not opponents of so many people, they were directly subdued to the ground. At this moment, Ning Luo looked at Mr. Yao coldly and said, Do you have any other means? Mr. Yao is at the end of his life and has nothing to do. Puff, he knelt in front of Ning Luo and said, Please, let me make a living, please. Ning Luo looked at him with cold eyes and said, Is it useful to beg for mercy now? Take it to death. As he said, the long sword in his hand was cut down instantly. Boom, with a loud noise, a purple sword intent fell directly from the sky. Suddenly, the powerful sword intent hit Mr. Yao instantly. Boom, after a loud noise, immediately, Mr. Yao exploded directly. Extinct. At this moment, everyone was extremely surprised. The entire venue seemed to freeze. An eight-star fighter faced a 14-five-year-old young man, but in the end, he was directly killed by the young man. This little brother killed Mr. Yao. Little brother, you are our great benefactor. Thank you, thank you for saving us. You are our savior. The whole audience was agitated for an instant, and they shouted and supported. Shouting loudly, Savior, Savior, the sound resounded across the world, and the entire Qingxin town was shaking. After a long time, the vibration finally subsided. Xiao Yixian looked at Ning Luo excitedly, because Ning Luo was not injured, he successfully survived. She had been worried about Ning Luo before, but now she can finally relax. At this time, she looked at Ning Luo excitedly, hurriedly ran towards Ning Luo and threw himself into Ning Luo's arms. Two groups of Wen Ruan slapped Ning Luo's chest. Ning Luo was straightened up. Great, it's really great that you are fine. The little doctor said, hugging Ning Luo. Ning Luo was held tightly by the little doctor immortal, and said quietly, development is not bad. Suddenly, Xiao Yixian's face turned red, and he instantly let go of Ning Luo, complaining, smelly hooligan. 
Mr. Yao is dead, and the guards of Wan Yaojai are also headless, but they just take money and work for others, and Ning Luo didn't embarrass them. Ning Luo came to Wan Yaojai and distributed all the antidote previously refined by Mr. Yao to the villagers of Qingxin Town. The villagers of Qingxin Town were immediately grateful and thought that Ning Luo was their savior and God sent them to save them. Of When Mr. Yao died, Wan Yaojai became Ning Luo's. He found many medicinal materials in Wan Yaojai, and then he began to practice medicine pill refining in Wan Yaojai. He refined a lot of breeze to the villagers. The profession of pharmacist is not as simple as imagined. It is a lot more difficult to learn by yourself without a teacher. The reason why Xiao Yan had such a great achievement was not because he had a very high talent, but because he had a good teacher. However, most of Ning Luo's refining medicine relied on himself. Ning Luo got so many sign in opportunities from Xiao Yishan, and the previous ones were useless many times. Therefore, Ning Luo is ready to sign in for a wave. Sign in. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in successfully and getting the Heaven Rank Fighting Skill Star Reacher. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in successfully and getting the ground level fighting skill Kai Yan Fangwa. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in successfully and gaining a terrific fighting skill. After Ning Luo killed Mr. Yao of Wan Yaojai, he became the shopkeeper of Wan Yaojai. Killing people for treasure, although it seems very unethical in modern society, in this world of cannibalism, in this cruel world. If you don't kill others, naturally someone will come to kill you. Therefore, Ning Luo must be cruel. He must not let go of anyone who wants to kill his own. Ning Luo came to this Wan Yao Jai. At this time, the little doctor immortal also followed in only with promise. Xiao Yixian looked at Ning Luo and said, Ning Luo, um, is this Wan Yao Jai yours from now on? Ning Luo smiled and said, of course. Oh, Xiao Yishan said. What's the matter? Ning Luo asked when looking at the little doctor fairy. Xiao Yixian quickly said, that, I have already packed up my salute, and I will leave here tomorrow. Leaving, Ning Luo looked at the little doctor and asked, why are you leaving? Um, that, isn't Wan Yaojai already yours? So, so, Xiao Yi Xian said vaguely. Ning Luo looked at Xiao Yixian and smiled at the corner of his mouth. This stupid girl is really stupid, Ning Luo said in his heart. At this time, Ning Luo grabbed the hand of Xiao Yixian. Little Dr. Xian looked at Ning Luo in shock. Ning Luo pulled Xiao Yixian's hand, and the other hand suddenly hugged her slender waist. The corner of his mouth turned into an arc, and he said lightly, So, do you want to escape? Don't forget that Wan Yaojai belongs to me, and you are also mine. Mr. Yao has already given you to me. Ning Luo said with one hand holding the little doctor immortal. At this moment, Xiao Yixian's pretty face flushed, and he looked at Ning Luo shyly. At this time, Ning Luo's big hand suddenly slapped on the top of Xiao Yixian's hip. Snapped. There was a loud noise. I saw Xiao Yixian even more shy. Not only was her face flushed, but the roots of her neck were flushed. Dare to run away. Looking at Ning Luo's eyes, Xiao Yixian quickly said, Ning Luo, Dot you mean, dot let me stay here. Of course, you are my person now. If you don't stay here, who will stay here? Ning Luo smiled softly. Seeing Ning Luo's gentle eyes, Xiao Yixian's heart jumped nonstop. At this time, I saw Ning Luo hugging Xiao Yixian's slender waist. Xiao Yixian's long hair, shining like white snow, fell down like a splashing Milky Way waterfall. On Xiao Yixian's cheeks, there is a veil that hides his face. Although it is hazy, it gives people a curiosity to find out. In addition, what seems a little weird is that the pear is not like a dead tree. How much emotional gray and purple eyes. Especially Xiao Yishan's red lips, which made Ning Luo have an urge to kiss fangs. Ning Luo looked at Xiao Yixian and kissed her red lips gently. Ding, kiss the little doctor fairy and get a chance to sign in. Ning Luo gently kissed the little doctor fairy, and then, slowly, the two came to the wall. Ning Luo grabbed Xiao Yixian's hand and kissed her. At this time, two people came to the room. Ning Luo pushed the little doctor immortal onto the bed. Xiao Yixian's face was still so red, she fell on the bed, revealing the appearance of Ren Junkai. Of course Ning Luo would not be polite to her. I saw Ning Luo leaned down gently. Leaning in the ear of Xiao Yixian, 
he asked softly, can you? The little doctor nodded. Ning Luo took the next step. Bend down. At this time, the little doctor immortal asked quickly. Ning Luo, my physique is special and poisonous, will you really be fine? Ning Luo smiled and looked at the little doctor fairy and said, your physique is called the eunuch poison body. It is a very strange special physique. It is unusually rare. It is naturally very poisonous. Those who touch it die and need to be poisoned to survive. However, the more poison you take, the more concentrated the toxins in your body. When the toxins condense to a certain point, they will explode completely. At the time of the outbreak, vitality was destroyed within a thousand miles. There are two types of toxic bodies, Shantian and Houdian. Shantian is born with it, and Houdian is made by man. Compared with the two, the former is more powerful. Quote, and your poison is Shantian's. So, isn't it? Xiao Yishan asked worriedly. Ning Luo smiled and said, Don't worry, yours is the evil poisonous body, and mine is the supreme divine body, which is a physique that is invulnerable to poisons. So, in this world, only I can touch you, and only I will not be poisoned to death by your poison. Ning Luo explained, Moreover, my physique can help you suppress the poison in your body, but this requires our dual cultivation. So, don't worry about it. Ning Luo smiled. The little doctor fairy nodded, covering his face shyly. Ding, take back the clothes of Xiao Yishan and get a chance to sign in. Ding, touch Xiao Yishan and get a chance to sign in. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in successfully and obtaining the cultivation technique yin and yang dual cultivation dafa. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in successfully and getting the ground level wood fighting skills. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in successfully and obtaining the water dragon chant of the ground level water system. Ning Luo had a lot of contact with Xiao Yishan, so the sign in opportunities were not exhausted. Ning Luo stayed in Qingshan town, mainly for cultivation. It's definitely not to do more with Xiao Yishan, some things. In fact, he also wants to get a few more sign in opportunities. He stayed in Qingshan town for more than a month. At this time, he was constantly cultivating. Cultivation base is also straight line ascension. From the seven star fighter, he directly became the nine star fighter. Within a month, I received two stars directly from ascension. This is nothing more than his yin and yang dual cultivation method played an absolute role. Yin and yang conditioning, yin and yang dual cultivation. This doubled the speed at which Ning Luo could absorb grudge. If he cultivates several times, Ning Luo may directly break through and become a fighting master. Now Ning Luo is already a 9-star fighter. However, even 9-star fighters, Ning Luo's cultivation technique are all above the heavenly ranks. Ning Luo's fighting skills are all above the ground level. Therefore, even if he encounters a 1-2-star battle master, Ning Luo can directly kill in seconds. It can be said that now Ning Luo is almost invincible at the fighter level. Even at the fighting division level, even the 9-star fighting division has the power to fight. However, if it were a master, Ning Luo would be a little worried. No matter how good the cultivation technique is, no matter how strong the fighting technique is, it is still somewhat unrealistic to want to fight more than two tiers. But well, he also signed in for a lot of life-saving methods. For example, the delimiter is broken, resurrected from the dead. Therefore, as long as he is not too ridiculous, generally no one can kill him. He stayed in Qingshan town, while cultivating and refining medicine. Although Mr. Yao is not a human being. But these Wanyaojai are all medicinal materials, which saves Ningluo a lot of things. He is now the second rank pharmacist. He refines medicine pill and eats himself every day, and his vindictiveness is also very fast. Ningluo was also relaxed during this period of time. When he was bored, he refining medicine. Since his flame broke through, the efficiency of refining medicine has improved a lot, and his ability to control flames has become more proficient. So during this time, he has hoarded many medicine pills, many second-rank medicine pills, and many first-rank medicine pills. Not only that, he has also refined many foundation-building spirits, these foundation-building spirits. The liquid was used by him to soak in the bath. If someone sees him taking a bath with the foundation building spirit liquid, he will definitely be scolded and abused, but even if the bathwater is discharged, there will be many people competing for it. 
This is the charm of the alchemist. In fact, in the process of refining medicine, Ningluo discovered that the refining book is no worse than the old medicine. The refining book contains almost all medicine pills and medicinal materials, just like Baidu, as long as as soon as he thought about it, he could search for formulas and refining methods, which was so convenient. Those medicine pills, even the old ones, may not be able to know all of them. Ning Luo is currently refining Bingxin pill, but although the second order water magic core and the second order wood magic core can be purchased, the frost flower lin is an extremely precious medicinal material, which is not available in ordinary medicinal stores. Arrive. He remembered that in the original work, Xiao Yan had gone to an auction here to auction things. Maybe I can go to the auction and bang my luck, and by the way, auction off all the things I use for practice. Ning Luo stayed in Qingxin town for a few more days, and it was time for him to set off. He has never forgotten his own purpose, and this time he goes down the mountain, he should also do his own business. Are you really going to leave? Xiao Yixian looked at Ning Luo and asked. Ning Luo was about to leave, of course she was a little bit reluctant. What's the matter? Are you reluctant to leave me? Ning Luo smiled softly. HMPH, I'm not reluctant. If you want to get out of the way, it's best not to come back again. Xiao Yixian said. Ning Luo smiled slightly and said, Hee hee. Little girl, don't forget, Mr. Yao has given you to me. From now on, you and this Wanyaojai are mine. I will come back to find you. Bah, I am not yours, you big villain. The little doctor said quickly. Okay, I'm leaving, take care of myself. Ning Luo said. Go away, Xiao Yishan said. I'm really gone. Ning Luo said again. Go away, the little doctor fairy shouted. At this time, I saw Ning Luo suddenly leaned over to look at Xiao Yixian, and then gently kissed her little mouth. Don't worry, I will come back. I will auction off some medicine pills and make money to marry you. Ning Luo smiled. HMPH, I don't want you, I have to go, go. Ning Luo packed up his baggage and walked forward without looking back. Xiao Yixian stood behind, looking at Ning Luo's back, a tear appeared in the corner of his eyes. Ning Luo, I am waiting for you, you must come back. Ning Luo left Qingxin town and walked towards Wudan city. Qingxin town is not far from Wudan city, Ning Luo walked for two or three days and finally arrived in Wudan city. Yutan city is worthy of being one of the large cities of the Gama Empire, and it is extremely popular. Although it is a scorching sun, the flow of people on the street is still turbulent, and some strange races can even be seen occasionally. Ning Luo walked all the way, watching all the way. Ning Luo had traveled here, he had not come to this kind of world, so he was very interested in everything he saw. Ning Luo made a few turns on the street, and finally rushed into a medium-sized market in the south of the city. There are several in Yutan city, each controlled by the three major families in the city. Lazily following Ning Luo wandering around at random, constantly watching everything in the market. Ning Luo went round and round, but slowly entered the depths of the market. The things sold in the depths of the market are generally more precious than the outside. Therefore, customers who can come here to buy are in Wudan City. It can be considered a bit of strength. At this moment, Ning Luo suddenly heard a sound coming from the place in front. Ning Luo looked up, saw a familiar figure, Xiao Zuner. Xiao Zuner is also one of the goddesses. Contact with Xiao Zuner will definitely get the chance to sign in. But last time, Xiao Zuner shot herself as soon as she saw herself. Ning Luo didn't know why she shot herself the last time, but at least Xiao Zuner is one of her own goddesses, so she should attack. Hey, isn't this Miss Zuner? Haha, ha, I didn't expect to meet here. It's fate. The slender brows wrinkled lightly, and Zuner looked around in search of a sound, but saw a crowd of people pouring in. In the crowd, stars crowded around a luxuriously dressed young man. The young man is about 20 years old and looks quite handsome, but his face is a little pale, and his eyes are hot, staring firmly at the slim young girl not far away, with mixed eyes in his eyes. Undisguised admiration. Ning Luo remembered the plot of the original book. This young man should be Galio. It seems that this Galio gave his hero a chance to save the United States. As for whether you can capture Xiao Zuner's heart, then do your best and let your fate. Looking at the handsome young man with joy, 
Zuner's slender eyebrows wrinkled slightly, ignoring his yelling, and turned away. Shuiner miss. Seeing Zuner turn around, the handsome young man's pale face suddenly became anxious, and the pace accelerated a bit, and finally he turned himself in front of Zuner. Stopped by the youth, Zuner had to stop, her long, narrow chushui eyes, squinting lazily, looking at him faintly, but she didn't say a word. Zuner miss. The young man who wandered among the beauties all year round stared at the girl's eyes, his breath suddenly became a little bit faster, and his usual clever teeth seemed to have lost its effect at this moment. Galio young master, if it's okay, please get out of the way, I'm still okay. Looking at the reddened youth, Zuner finally spoke. The girl's delicate and soft voice made the pale face of the young man on the opposite side, a morbid red tide suddenly surged. Hee <laughs> hee. Zuner miss, what do you want to buy when you go to Fangxi? You are just hanging out, why don't you go shopping together? He took a deep breath in his heart, and the smile on Galio's face was bright and gentle. The smile, in line with his identity and appearance, has made him successfully embrace him several times. Galio young master, I have already said, I have something. Can you please let me go? Kaoru pursed her mouth slightly, her voice flat without any fluctuations. When Zuner refused, Galio twitched the corner of his mouth, but the smile on his face remained, and he stretched out his hand and took it in his arms. Finally, I drew out a bracelet. The bracelet was light blue and gold. The chain material was made of gold and blue iron. At the junction of the bracelet, there was a pendant with a green magic crystal that was ground into a bead shape. A faint green light came out from it, rendering the chain beautiful and beautiful. It seems that this small bracelet is definitely expensive. Ha ha, Miss Zuner is okay. It would be difficult for Galio to stop him. Galio carefully held the bracelet and smiled eagerly. This is a wood spirit bracelet that was specially purchased in the shop just now. Although it is not a precious thing, it also has a first level wood attribute magic crystal on it, which has a good effect on the recovery of fighting energy. Kaoru Miss has not yet become a contender. For you, this is simply the most suitable jewelry. With a little care, Kaoru Miss, don't refuse. Otherwise, it would be a bit embarrassing for Galio to be under his own subordinate. At the end of the sentence, Galio deliberately gave a little humor, and the subordinates around him also laughed very cooperatively. Seeing Galio's actions, Kaoru frowned again, feeling a little helpless about the brown candy in her heart. At this moment, I saw a voice sounded. A trivial wood spirit bracelet, are you embarrassed to use it as a gift? This statement came out. Everyone looked up. I saw a young man walking towards them step by step. The appearance of a young man of 14 or 5 years old. Faxed a seat of white clothes and walked towards Xiao Zuner step by step. Xiao Zuner looked at the white clothed young man in shock. Isn't that Ning Luo? When Zuner met Ning Luo for the first time, she became interested in Ning Luo. Therefore, Xiao Zuner went to test Ning Luo's strength. For the first time, he lost to Ning Luo. She is a little interested in Ning Luo. Unexpectedly, I was here now and met Ning Luo again. At this moment, I saw Galio's men immediately surrounded Ning Luo, and Galio looked at Ning Luo and asked coldly, Boy, who are you, dare to take care of the young master's business? At this time, I saw Galio's men surrounded Ning Luo. Galio looked at Ning Luo and asked, Boy, who are you, dare to take care of daddy's business? Ning Luo smiled at the corner of his mouth and said, It doesn't matter who I am, what matters is, what will happen next? Galio smiled coldly. He looked at Ning Luo, and saw that Ning Luo was dressed like a child of a rich family. However, without servants around him, it seemed that he should not be regarded as a big family. Even a child of a rich family, with the influence of their Garli family, must be well settled. Galio smiled coldly and asked, What will happen next? Ning Luo smiled faintly. If you kneel down and apologize, I can assume that nothing has happened. If you don't want to, I'm afraid there will be one more disabled person here. Ning Luo said, At this time, I saw Xiao Zuner, a little girl who covered her mouth and smiled softly. Oh, you Ning Luo, I met again, let's see how I tease you. She looked at Ning Luo from the corner of her mouth, with a smug expression on the corner of her mouth. Xiao Zuner is very interested in Ning Luo. After Ning Luo came to help Nalan Yanren retire, Xiao Zuner became interested in Ning Luo. Later, she tested Ning Luo's strength again. 
Ning Luo's strength is very impressive. Although he took a lot of advantage, he was a bit frivolous about himself. However, in her heart, she still couldn't forget this pervert. She didn't expect to meet Ning Luo again here. Although Xiao Zuner didn't like Ning Luo, she was quite interested. Although she could solve this Galio by herself, but now that Ning Luo is standing for her, she wants to tease Ning Luo. At this time, I saw Xiao Zuner hiding behind Ning Luo immediately. Both hands hugged one of Ning Luo's hands. Shuang Feng suddenly touched Xuxian in Ning Luo. Then, Xiao Zuner pointed to Galio and said, Ning Luo big brother, he, he has been pestering me. Seeing Xiao Zuner doing this, Ning Luo was a little shocked. This, what does this mean? As soon as I saw myself before, I had to beat myself. Hugging yourself now. But Ning Luo is very smart, he has read the original. Xiao Zuner in the original book is very strange, even a little black. Ning Luo probably understood Xiao Zuner's purpose. She wants to use herself to provoke the contradiction between Galio and On, and let Galio deal with herself. Now it seems that Xiao Zuner is indeed black. However, Ning Luo smiled faintly. Looking at Xiao Zuner who was like water, a smirk appeared at the corner of her mouth. Xiao Zuner, you leaned on yourself, don't blame me. Ning Luo said in his heart. At this time, Ning Luo hugged Xiao Zuner. Then she looked at Xiao Zuner, and kissed Xiao Zuner's mouth slowly. Ding, kiss the goddess Xiao Zuner and get a chance to sign in. At this moment, whether it is Xiao Zuner, still Galio. All were extremely shocked. Xiao Zuner was startled. She just wanted to tease and tease Ning Luo. She didn't expect Ning Luo to be so excessive, so she directly took the opportunity to kiss herself. At this time, I saw a smirk from the corner of Ning Luo's mouth, gently leaning in Xiao Zuner's ear and said, You teased me first. At this time, Xiao Zuner's face flushed suddenly. And Galio was extremely angry. Xiao Zuner is such a beautiful person, even if she is herself, she can't get her heart, let alone her person. But this Ning Luo, he actually kissed Xiao Zuner in front of On. This, how can he not be angry? He looked at Ning Luo very angry, and there was a nearly hoarse voice in his neck. Boy. Dot you, how dare you? Galio was extremely angry, looking at Ning Luo, he was about to attack. Ning Luo smiled, looked at Galio, and hugged Xiao Zuner in On's arms, and said lightly, Did you see? Zuner is my woman, stay away from her in the future. At this moment, Zuner was still immersed in Ning Luo's actions just now, and did not slow down. She never dreamed of it. Unexpectedly, Ning Luo would actually, actually kissed myself. Although she has a dark belly, she is also an unmanned little girl. That, that was her first kiss. Her first kiss was like this, was taken away by this man who had only seen each other twice. No matter who he is, beat him to death. Suddenly, I saw the families of the Garli family rushing up towards Ning Luo. Ning Luo smiled at the corner of his mouth. Suddenly flew out. His movement technique is a celestial movement technique, how could these ordinary people catch up with him? Coupled with the strength of his nine-star fighter. Therefore, it was easy for Ning Luo to deal with these little ones. I saw Ning Luo flying out suddenly. A flash of lightning condensed in his hand. Thunderbolt. Suddenly, the ground-level fighting skills were released instantly. I saw Yi Ning Luo as the center, lightning was released in an instant, and the white arc struck every family member. Bang! There was a loud noise. Everyone was directly struck by lightning. An electric arc surged over them. Z Z Z. After a while, the smell of meat came out. At first glance, I saw that all the entourages that Galio had brought were scorched and slumped on the ground. At this time, Galio was shocked. Who the hell is this kid? Why is strength so powerful? With an electric arc condensed in Ning Luo's hand, he walked towards Galio step by step. You, what are you going to do? I'm telling you, I'm the young master of the Garli family. If you move me, you will never end well. Galio said as he stepped back. Ning Luo raised the corner of his mouth slightly, looked at Galio and asked, The Gaili family, are you strong? You, what are you going to do? Ning Luo smiled and said, I don't do anything, it's just that I want to beat you. Sa Ning Luo came to Galio's front. Galio was shocked. Suddenly, his legs softened. Snapped. Sit on the ground. He looked at Ning Luo and quickly said, 
You, don't come over. He kept backing away, and kept talking. An electric arc condensed in Ning Luo's hand, step by step. At this time, Ning Luo frowned slightly, and he suddenly asked the stench. He looked down and saw that Galio's pants were soaked. This kid was scared to pee by him. A dumb guy. Ning Luo shook his head and quickly moved away from him. The arc in his hand was released instantly. Boom. There was a loud noise. I saw the stench and the smell of meat, which instantly mixed together. A scorched, exploded Galio young master, lying on the ground, blowing blue smoke. Ning Luo looked back at Xiao Zuner. At this moment, Xiao Zuner finally reacted. She looked at Ning Luo and glared, Ning Luo, you. I. I will kill you. Quote, Xiao Zuner said, and immediately killed Ning Luo. I saw Ning Luo gently holding her hand and tripping gently under her feet. Suddenly, Xiao Zuner rushed towards Ning Luo again. At the next moment, Xiao Zuner fell directly into Ning Luo's arms, and Shuangfeng stepped to Ning Luo's chest, and his small mouth kissed Ning Luo's mouth again. At this moment, Xiao Zuner was shocked. She didn't expect Ning Luo to do this. You, Xiao Zuner separated from Ning Luo immediately, raising her hand, she struck down at Ning Luo. Ning Luo. Dot you. Xiao Zuner raised her hand and was instantly caught by Ning Luo. Ning Luo smiled and looked at Xiao Zuner and said, I just called me Ning Luo big brother, but now I don't recognize people. Humph. Xiao Zuner snorted coldly, threw Ning Luo's hand away, and left in a huff. Ning Luo looked at Xiao Zuner's back with a smile on his lips. At this time, Ling Lao came to Xiao Zuner's side. Old Ling smiled and said, Why not happy, Zuner, miss, didn't you want to see Ning Luo a long time ago? HMPH, when did I say that I wanted to see him? He is a big badass, a stinky rascal, and I can't wait to kill him. Xiao Zuner said angrily. Old Ling smiled and said, Since Zuner miss is going to kill Ning Luo, the old man will kill him now. No, Old Ling, don't. Xiao Zuner said immediately. I will kill him personally, so I don't need Ling Lao to do it. Xiao Zuner said proudly. Old Ling smiled and followed Xiao Zuner. Ning Luo turned around in Wudan City. After making up his mind, Ning Luo walked towards the middle auction site, the largest auction venue in Yutan City. In the Gama Empire, in terms of wealth, the middle family is probably second to none. The middle family has a long history and has developed in the Gama Empire for hundreds of years. The relationship can be described as intricate. According to some gossip, this rich family seems to have a slight relationship with the royal family of the Gama Empire. In the Empire, the Mitel family, the Nalan family, and the Intel family are collectively known as the Gama Big Three. The three major families are involved in the business, military, and other interfaces of the Empire, and they are not insignificant. Therefore, with the strong background of the middle family as the backstage, no one would dare to make their minds no matter how coveted the profits of the auction house were. Looking at the huge venue at the end of the street, then walked in toward the venue. However, Ning Luo's appearance was very handsome, and many little girls were peeping at him along the way. Hey, it seems that being too handsome is also a crime. Ning Luo sighed, without much thought, Ning Luo walked into the clubhouse, and when he entered the clubhouse, the hot feeling was as if being peeled off from the body. The cool feeling gave people a strange feeling of double heaven inside and outside. Looking across the magnificent spacious hall, Ning Luo walked toward the house beside him. On the door of the house, the three characters, Appreciation Room, were printed with glittering golden light. Pushing the door and entering, the room was a bit empty, only a middle-aged man was sitting on a chair by the table a little bored, hearing the sound of pushing the door, the middle-aged man raised his head and looked at the figure wrapped in black robe. The brow wrinkled without a trace, and a professional smile quickly appeared on his face, Sir, are you planning to appraise treasure? Yes, I want you to see my medicine pill. Ning Luo smiled. Ning Luo took two steps forward, took out the white jade bottle from his arms and placed it gently on the table. The white jade bottle was filled with his bath water, no, it was filled with the foundation building spirit. He wanted to see how much the medicine pill he refined could be worth. As this, the eyes blinked in confusion. The middle-aged man carefully picked up the white jade bottle and sniffed the bottle slightly. Then, the middle-aged man's face changed slightly, and he looked at Ning Luo again. 
there was a hint of awe, your lord is a pharmacist. Yes, I am a pharmacist, but I haven't graded it yet. I don't know which grade it is. Ning Luo smiled. Ning Luo is a pharmacist, but he did not have a grade assessment, because he can refine the second-rank medicine pill now, so he self-assessed that he is a second-rank pharmacist. Excuse me, what is this bottle of medicine pill? What is the function? Hearing this, the middle-aged man asked respectfully again. Well, this is my bath water. Bah, this is the foundation building spiritual liquid, which can be used for the cultivation speed of the ascension fighting chi, but it can only be used under the fighter to be effective. Ning Luo took out the foundation building spiritual liquid he refined. This foundation building spirit is indeed his bath water. At the beginning, he and Nalan Yanran used the foundation building spirit to take a bath together. Oh, can the cultivation speed of ascension fighting spirit Hearing this, the middle-aged man was a little moved. Fighting energy can only be well-regulated cultivation, which has almost become common sense for everyone, and the veins in the cultivation of this stage are extremely fragile, once the medicine is too strong, it will be a miserable end to the death of the pulse. My spiritual liquid has no negative effects, and the medicinal power is extremely mild. Ning Luo said, almost, he set about using the foundation-building spiritual liquid to take a bath every day. His face changed again. The middle-aged man carefully put the white jade bottle back on the table and respectfully said, My lord, could you please wait a moment? I need to ask Master Ji Yuni from our auction house to come and identify the essence. Well, hurry up. Ning Luo was not polite with a wave, and sat down on a chair beside him, then closed his eyes and calmed down. The middle-aged man nodded quickly, and then hurried out of the room. After staying in the room for a while, the middle-aged man returned again, but this time, he also brought an old man in Singyi with a little gray hair. His gaze swept over the old man's body, and finally stopped at the old man's chest. There was no Venus painted there. Instead, something similar to a medicine furnace was painted. On the surface of the medicine furnace, two silver ripples shone with nobleness. How Mang! My lord, this is Master Ji Yuni from our auction house. He is a three-star master. At the same time, he is also a second-rank alchemist. The middle-aged man said Gongsheng. There are not many second-rank alchemists in Yutan City. A second-rank alchemist can definitely be regarded as an elder-level figure. The old man's face was red, and although the Sing Yi on his body looked ordinary, but there was a faint flow of light. Obviously, this shirt should be protected by some magic crystal. On the ordinary old face, there is a touch of arrogance that is difficult to conceal. This is essential things for every pharmacist. He looked down on Ning Luo a little bit. After all, Ning Luo looked 14 or 5 years old, so young, what good things he can produce, it must be something that is not on the table. The middle-aged man carefully picked up the jade bottle from the table and handed it to Ji Yu Ni. Ji Yu Ni took the spirit liquid and looked at Ning Luo with a faint smile, little brother, did you refine this medicine pill? Ning Luo smiled and said, you are not talented, but medicine pill is indeed made by me. Ji Yu Ni glanced at Ning Luo a little contemptuously, what good things could be refined at such a young age? He arrogantly took the white jade bottle, sniffed the fragrant smell, his old eyes were slightly narrowed, his pupils flickered slightly, the mouth of the bottle was slightly slanted, and a small drop of cyan liquid slowly rolled out of it, and then suspended in Guni's palm. His eyes were staring at the cyan liquid tightly, Guni's two fingers clamped, and a thin silver needle appeared between his fingers. On top of the needle, there was a slight wave of vindictiveness, and it quietly stretched into the cyan liquid, and then lightly stirred gently. Suddenly, he was shocked in his heart, as if he was about to suffocate. He looked at Ning Luo in shock and asked, This, this is the second-rank medicine pill. Brother, you are unexpectedly surprised. Is it the second-rank pharmacist? Ji Yu Ni was extremely surprised. You must know that he spent his entire life. He reached the realm of second-rank alchemist at the age of 70 or 80, but the little brother in front of him, who looked like a 14 or 5-year-old, was already a second-rank alchemist. Such talents have unlimited prospects. Ji Yu Ni immediately transformed his scornful look into respect, no, shock. The middle-aged man was also very shocked. He looked at Ning Luo respectfully and hurriedly saluted, My lord. Is the adult going to auction this foundation-building liquid? The middle-aged man asked quickly. 
Ning Luo smiled and said, In fact, besides foundation building liquid, I have other second rank medicine pill. With that said, Ning Luo took out small bottles from his arms, such as Qingxin pill, Ji Yuling pill, Yuyan pill. No matter which kind of medicine pill, it is the second rank class, and it is still the top grade among the second rank. Seeing these dazzling array of medicine pills, Ji Yuni's heart was full of endless shock. You know, the process of refining medicine is very difficult. He refining medicine for a lifetime, and the success rate of refining second rank medicine pill is not high. The talent of the brothers is high. My lord, will these medicine pills be put up at our auction? The middle-aged man asked. Ning Luo smiled and said, Yes, I want to see what these medicine pills are worth. Okay, sir, we will arrange a VIP room for you, and we will auction your medicine pill. Please wait a moment, the middle-aged man said hurriedly. Come on, take this adult to the VIP room, remember, don't neglect. The middle-aged humanity. Yes, a maid walked in and led Ning Luo to the auction house. After Ning Luo left, the middle-aged man whispered, When did we have such a young second-rank alchemist in Yutan City? Ji Yu Ni replied, Such a young alchemist, I am afraid that he will come from the outside world. Need to investigate his origin, the middle-aged man said softly. Ji Yuni squinted his old eyes, thought a little, and shook his head slightly, not for now, the alchemist's temper is a bit weird. If the investigation attracts his attention, I am afraid that he will have a bad impression of the auction house and offend him at will. A mysterious alchemist who doesn't know his level is not a wise move. Turning his head, glanced at the middle-aged man, Ji Yuni said lightly, how to make him feel good about us, you should know how to do it. Clear, remember, even if you can't make a good relationship, don't offend it, otherwise. Ji Yu Ni floated away with a faintly cold word. Led by a waitress, Ning Luo walked into the auction that was in progress. As soon as I entered it, the bright surroundings dimmed, and the noise was overwhelming, making Ning Luo frown, who likes quietness. The auction house is very large, and it is not difficult to accommodate thousands of people. At this time, under the lights in the center of the auction house, a beautiful woman in a red dress robe is using her charming voice that makes her bones a little tingling. Everyone in the room interprets the function of the object at hand. Ding, if you detect the goddess Yafei, interact with Yafei to get the chance to sign in. Xiao Chen looked at the woman in red with surprise. Is she the concubine Ya? She is really upset. In the woman's crisp and squeaky voice, the price of that item, which is actually not too rare, is rising at a fiery speed. My son, please. The maid's voice sounded. Ning Luo followed the maid to a quiet room. This was the VIP room prepared by the middle auction for some big shots. Since Ning Luo can come up with so many second-rank medicine pills, it is enough to show that he is an important person. Guests. If the son has any needs, he can summon Shaolian at any time. The maid said softly. Ning Luo nodded faintly, and then sat down quietly. His eyes scanned the beautiful woman in the field. With his eyesight, he could naturally see that most of the people in this scene came for her. Chief Auctioneer of the Middle Auction House, Yafei, a beauty that almost no one knows in Yutan City, that mature and charming style, made many men fall under her pomegranate skirt. Looking at the plump and charming curves of the woman in the red dress, she whispered, is that the concubine Ya? It really is a fairy. I have to say that this woman named Yafei is a good hand at mobilizing the atmosphere. Her smiles and frowns will make the prices off the court soar. At this time, this woman will raise prices. The place sent a charming smile, and suddenly, Lima, who was still hurting the price, was full of energy. The atmosphere in the venue, amidst this charming woman's mouth covering and chuckles, has always remained hot. The beauty is a disaster. Ning Luo shook his head and leaned on the chair. At this moment, Yafei's gaze suddenly saw herself, facing her four eyes, and suddenly, her gaze was a little dodging. Now Ning Luo can be said to be the same as everyone here, very handsome, which little girl does not like to see handsome guys. So even for such a stunning beauty as concubine Ya, Seeing Ning Luo at the moment, his heartbeat speeds up slightly. Haha, ha, everyone, I just received a new auction item at the auction house. I think everyone will be interested. After the auction of the item, Yafei suddenly smiled. With a wave of her jade hand, an attendant hurriedly took one. On the jade plate, 
there is a small white jade bottle in the plate. This is the second rank medicine pill. The delicate hand carefully picked up the white jade vial. Yafei's charming voice made the auction quiet. After a while, the noise suddenly rang. It is the most uncomfortable on the mainland of vindictiveness. The things that people pursue are all kinds of medicine pills refined by pharmacists. The name of the foundation building spirit liquid is only effective for people under the fighters. Using this spirit liquid to invade the body cultivation can speed up the cultivation speed of the people under the fighters. Haha, ha, if you want to own children and grandchildren become a young genius, don't let it go. The seductive red lips opened slightly, and the soft and delicate voice spit out the bones of everyone in the court. Foundation building spirit liquid, can ascension's cultivation speed, miss, at that stage, it seems that the people at that stage cannot withstand the impact of medicine pill. Although Yafei is indeed beautiful and enchanting, there is no lack of calmness in the field. People, after a little silence, someone asked. Hee hee, this spiritual liquid has been personally identified by Master Ji Yuni at our auction. It is the second rank and will never go wrong. You can rest assured. Yafei smiled. After listening to the personal identification by Master Ji Yuni, the voice in the venue suddenly became much smaller. Everyone knew that Master Ji Yuni was the second rank alchemist. In the whole city of Yutan, even the patriarchs of the three major families did not dare to see him. There is a slight negligence. Hearing that it was identified by the second rank alchemist Ji Yuni, everyone was relieved. This is the pharmacist. Even if it is a second rank alchemist, his status is very high. If these families know that Ningluo is a second rank pharmacist, they will definitely be respected as a guest by many families. The elegant concubine's beautiful eyes flowed, and she smiled and showed enchanting. Hee hee, the initial price of the spiritual liquid is 8,000 gold coins, please start. Yafei smiled, her eyes moved around the court, and finally stopped on the three clan chiefs sitting in the front, she knew clearly in her heart, these three are the main players in the competition. 8,005. As soon as Yafei's words fell, someone called out the price. 9,000. The voice of the increase followed closely. The price in the field kept tumbling, and it only took a moment to reach the height of 13,000. Ning Luo didn't expect to own bath water. Bah, foundation building spirit is so valuable. Huge profits, Ning Luo sighed. He just refines a little foundation building essence, which can be used for one month's pocket money. It seems that I will practice more medicine to auction in the future. In fact, a pharmacist is a very money-consuming profession. Generally speaking, a pharmacist who wants to refine a kind of medicine pill may waste a lot of medicinal materials. The price of medicinal materials is high, so the price of medicine pill is also high. But Ningluo is different. Ningluo will only make a few mistakes at the beginning of refining medicine pill, but as long as he succeeds in refining once, he will generally not make mistakes again. This is due to his Yuhuo Ju. The record on Yuhuo Ju was very clear at the beginning. Yuhuo Ju was on the refining medicine, but Fen Ju was not as good as Yuhuo Ju. The flame transformed by Yuhuo Ju was gentler, and also it is easier to control, but it is the real cultivation technique. Therefore, Ningluo has no waste at all when it comes to refining medicine. That's why he can refine so many foundation building spiritual liquids and take a bath with foundation building spiritual liquids. Ning Luo looked up at the other VIP seats. He knew someone, Xiao Yan's father, Xiao Zan. There were also two old men sitting next to Xiao Zan, seeing that they were followed by a lot of children. At this time, Ning Luo guessed that the other two should be the Garli family and the Aba family of the three major families in Yutan City. Xiao Zan looked at the foundation building spirit liquid. Although his expression was a little excited, he didn't immediately bid for the price. He closed his eyes slightly, waiting for the chaos of the little shrimps to end. The scramble continued for a while again, and his voice finally weakened. At the same time, an old man sitting side by side with Xiao Zan said faintly, 20,000. As soon as the shouting fell, the voice in the venue quieted down. Some people looked at the expressionless old man and had to sit back in frustration. They were not strong enough to compete with the Garley family. Hey, Galibee, why, do you want to grab the foundation building essence? A middle-aged man turned his head and smiled. Oh Baba, why, only you can grab it. Galibee was obviously wrong with the middle-aged man, and he sneered directly. 
with a curse in his heart, Obapa also shouted, 23,000. 25,000. In less than 10 minutes, in the horrified eyes of everyone in the field, the two of them turned out to be like a vicious dog grabbing food, raising the price to 30,001. 40,000. Xiao Zan, who closed his eyes, suddenly said. The hall suddenly fell silent, and all eyes suddenly shifted to Xiao Zan. Even Na Obapa and Garibal were shocked by his sudden high price. Hey, Patriarch Xiao seems to be sure to win this foundation building spiritual liquid. Galibi smiled. Xiao Zan glanced at him and said faintly, If you want it, just bid for it, and I will never follow it again. Galibi shook his face, as if he was thinking about the truth or not of Xiao Zan's words. After a while, he shook his head. This time his purpose was that thing, not the foundation building spirit, and now he is spending money randomly, is undoubtedly an unwise decision. On the other side, Omapa shrugged when he saw Garibal retreat. Although the foundation building spirit was attractive, it was not his goal either, so he withdrew. Patriarch Xiao Zan offered 40,000 gold coins, but there are people increasing the price. Yafei smiled as she looked at the calm court. Since no one raises the price, then this foundation building spirit liquid was purchased by Patriarch Xiao Zan. Seeing no one answered, Concubine Ya also took it as soon as he saw it, and tapped the small hammer in his hand on the table. That is, the buyer is determined. Later, Yafei helped Ning Luo auction off several medicine pills, all at a price of approximately RMB 30,000 or 40,000. As a result, Xiao Zan bought two or three medicine pills for Xiao Yan. It seems that Xiao Zan placed all his hopes on Xiao Yan. Xiao Zan spent a total of hundreds of thousands of gold coins. Although the Xiao family was a big family in Wudan City, 100,000 gold coins were not a small sum for him. Xiao Zan did this in order to let Xiao Yan break through as soon as possible. But if Xiao Zan knew that in two years, Xiao Yan had turned from a genius to a waste, I don't know how he would feel. But what does this have to do with Ning Luo? No matter whose money is earned, it is his. After leaving the auction room, Ning Luo returned to the appraising room again, waiting quietly with his head down in the awe of the middle-aged man's eyes. After a while, a rush of footsteps came from outside, and two Taoist shadows pushed in. Ha ha, is this the owner of Foundation Building Spirit Liquid? Mister should come to Wooden City for the first time. The fragrant wind hit, and the soft and delicate laughter suddenly sounded in Ning Luo's ears. The tip of his heart trembled slightly. With close contact, Ning Luo once again experienced the woman's mature charm, and on top of Yenshi's pretty face with a smile, a pair of long and narrow beautiful eyes, which seemed to be releasing temptations to men all the time. Moving over the slender and elegant jade neck without a trace of his eyes, he was almost sucked in by the deep gully. The willow waist, like a water snake, swayed, tempting Tianchang. It's really a fairy. Although Ning Luo was a 14 five-year-old child physically, Ning Luo couldn't help but react to such a fairy. Yes, it's me. Ning Luo smiled. I don't know the name of Mr. Zun's surname. Ya Fei asked. Ning Luo smiled faintly. My name is Ning. I am called Ning Luo. I don't know what Mrs. name is. My name is Ya Fei. Ya Fei's face flushed slightly. Her eyes rested on Ning Luo's handsome face, her heart beating quickly. Mr. Ning, this is the VIP card for the Temir auction. As long as the husband holds the card to any auction house of the Temir family, he will be treated as a VIP. At the same time, the tax rate for the auction will also vary from 100%. 5%, reduced to 2%. Yafei handed over a black card. Ning Luo took the card. At this time, a maid ran in from outside and handed a green card respectfully to concubine Ya. Mr. Ning, the foundation building spirit liquid auction the price of 40,000 gold coins, and the auction of other medicine pills 150,000 gold coins, a total of 190,000 gold coins, deducted 2% of the tax. The rest is all here. Yafei smiled and passed the green card over. Good. Ning Luo smiled lightly. Concubine Ya was affectionate and flirted with Ning Luo. She opened her mouth slightly and smiled and said, Hee hee, if Mr. Ning needs to auction any medicine pill in the future, please take care of the Temir auction house. Yeah, replied casually. Then thank you Mr. Ning, to help us work together happily in the future. Yafei said, and then stretched out her white hand. Ning Luo stretched out his hand, 
held it with concubine Ya, smiled and said, Okay, happy future. Ding, shake hands with Yafei and get a chance to sign in. However, after a while, Ning Luo took out a bottle of medicine pill from his arms, he handed it to Yafei, and smiled, This is Yuyan pill, which can beautify your face and prolong your aging for at least 50 years. Give this medicine pill to you. Seeing the medicine pill in Ning Luo's hands, Yafei was shocked and couldn't believe own eyes. Yuyan Dan had also been auctioned before, and was taken away by a young woman, and spent more than 50,000 gold coins. Now, Mr. Ning gave himself the Yuyan Dan with more than 50,000 gold coins. This medicine pill was originally refined for fun, I still have a lot, so this one is for you. Ning Luo smiled. Really, Yafei seemed to be in a dream, she couldn't believe all this. Of course it is true. You sold so many medicine pills for me. I gave you one as a thank you. Ning Luo looked at Yafei. Concubine Ya was very grateful, and a shocked expression appeared on her broken face. She quickly said, Thank you, Mr. Ning. If Mr. Ning has any needs, he must tell Concubine Ya, and Concubine Ya will do her best to help Mr. Ning. Concubine Ya continued. Ning Luo smiled slightly and said, By the way, if you have any frosty flowers here, please pay attention to it. I don't know how much Mr. Ning needs. Ya Fei asked. Ning Luo laughed and said, as much as there is, I want as much. Concubine Ya hurriedly said, Concubine Ya must pay attention to Mr. Ning. Okay, if that's the case, I'll leave first. Ning Luo said. Ya Fei respectfully send Mr. Looking at Ning Luo's disappearing back, the smile on Ya Fei Chao's face slowly converged, her eyebrows frowned, and she walked to the table, leaning languidly on the chair. Second rank pharmacist, Mr. Ning's handwriting is really big. After a little silence, Yafei said softly. It is indeed a powerful alchemist, and the alchemy technique will only be better than me. At least, the second rank foundation building spiritual liquid, I can't refining it. Ji Yu Ni bowed to the Yafei and sighed, Road. Isn't there a prescription? His eyes narrowed slightly, and Yafei's ruddy mouth was slightly raised, seemingly casual. Hearing the words of concubine Ya, Ji Yu Ni's face was startled, and he hurriedly said, the prescription is the lifeblood of every pharmacist. Miss, please don't go to his idea and annoy a pharmacist who doesn't know the level at will. Even the Temir family can hardly bear the anger. A few decades ago, the Czech family, which was well known in the Gama Empire, wanted to use the idea of King Dan Guhe's prescription. The family is ruined and clean. Even the imperial family of the Gama Empire did not dare to interfere with this incident to the end. Just then, Xiao Yan had already discovered the reason why Yao Lao had disappeared from his quarrel. He was going to sell the foundation building spiritual liquid refined by Yao Lao, and then exchange some money to buy materials. So, he came to the auction house. Appreciation room. One of the subordinates looked at the figure wrapped in black robe, frowning without a trace, and then a professional smile quickly appeared on his face. Sir, are you planning to appraise treasure? Yeah, under the black robe, a somewhat dry old voice came out lightly, which turned out to be Yao Lao's voice. Xiao Yan took two steps forward, took out the white jade bottle from his arms and gently placed it on the tabletop. This is, eyes blinked suspiciously. The middle-aged man carefully picked up the white jade bottle and sniffed lightly on the mouth of the bottle. After a while, his face changed slightly, and he looked at Xiao Yan again. A trace of awe, your lord is a pharmacist. Yeah, the old voice came out again. Excuse me, what is this bottle of medicine pill and what does it do? Hearing this, the middle-aged man asked respectfully again. The foundation building spirit liquid can be used at the cultivation speed of the ascension fighting chi, but it can only be used under the fighter to be effective. Oh, the speed of cultivation of ascension fighting energy, heard that middle-aged people are a little moved, fighting energy can only be cultivation in a satisfactory manner, which has almost become common sense for everyone and the cultivation at this stage is extremely fragile. Once the medicine is too strong, it will be a miserable end to the death of the pulse. My spirit liquid has no negative effects, and the medicinal power is extremely mild, and it won't cause that kind of result. You can rest assured, it seems that the old voice slowly explained what the middle-aged person was thinking. His face changed again, and the middle-aged man carefully put the white jade bottle back on the table and said respectfully, My lord, could you please wait a moment? 
I need to ask Master Ji Yuni from our auction house to come and identify the essence. Well, hurry up. Xiao Yan waved his hand, and Xiao Yan was not polite, and sat down on a chair beside him, then closed his eyes and calmed down. In the living room, Ji Yuni and Ya Fei are talking. Although the power of our family is far beyond that of the Czech family at that time, it is better not to offend some mysterious alchemists easily. You know, a pharmacist is a poisonous honeycomb. As long as you poke him, he can immediately find countless friends, and there are also many strong people who are very happy to let a pharmacist owe them a favor. Quote, Looking at Ji Yu Ni who was a little panicked, Ya Fei rubbed her smooth forehead helplessly, and said with a wry smile, Ji Yu Ni uncle, what are you talking about, I have no idea to beat him, you really have been Ya Fei in the past few years. Has the experience been in vain? Didn't I remind you? Ji Yu Ni breathed a sigh of relief when he heard concubine Ya's words. He was really afraid that Nizi would do something stupid. With her small mouth curled, Ya Fei Yu held her fragrant cheek in her hand and sighed softly. The pharmacist is really a group of terrifying people, but why doesn't she have this talent? At this time, Ji Yu Ni smiled and said, but I see, is Miss interesting to him? Concubine Ya hurriedly smiled and said, Guni uncle, just talking nonsense, but he is a generous person, so you can make friends. Ji Yu Ni smiled and said, you can become a second-rank pharmacist at such a young age. The future is bound to be limitless, and a second-rank medicine pill can be given away casually. Such a person must have a certain background and strength. It's not impossible to make friends if you want. If you can pull him to our side, that's fine. Guni sighed. How can we win over these characters? Ya Fei replied. Ji Yu Ni hurriedly said. Even if we can't win over, we have to make friends with him, and we can't offend him. By the way, we should pay more attention to Frost Hulin. This may be a good opportunity for us to make friends with him. Yes, Ji Yu Ni uncle. Ya Fei said. At this moment, only one person walked in immediately. Master Ji Yu Ni, another pharmacist came here, and he also brought the foundation building spirit. The subordinate said immediately. Ji Yu Ni and Ya Fei were shocked when this remark came out. What? Gu Ni asked. There is an old man who is also a pharmacist, who also came to appraise, and what he brought was also the foundation building spiritual solution. Okay, I'll go out and have a look. Ji Yu Ni said. Gu Ni walked out. I saw an old man in a black cloak sitting opposite. Ji Yu Ni hurriedly said, as the senior who came to appraise the medicinal materials. Yes, Yao Lao's voice sounded in the cloak. He proudly took out the foundation building spiritual liquid he refined. Yao Lao's level of pride naturally looks down on this small auction house. His foundation building spirit must be the better thing in this auction house. Can senior show me? Xiao Yan pushed the medicinal materials in front of Ji Yu Ni. I saw Ji Yu Ni looking at the foundation building spirit liquid, shook his head and said, it is indeed a very good second rank medicine pill, but... But what? This foundation building spirit liquid... We already have a lot of it at auction, and the quality is better than yours, so we don't need it anymore. This statement came out. Xiao Yan and Yao Lao were both shocked. Old Yao hurriedly asked, You said that you already have foundation building spiritual solution, how could it be possible? This is my unique pill recipe. Can you tell me who made it? Yao Lao asked quickly. At this time, Ji Yu Ni looked at Yao Lao with some contempt. Unique pill recipe. So, how did the previous Ningluo little brother refining it? Besides, Ningluo's quality is much better than that of the old man. Ningluo is young and must have a great future for development. This old guy is already so old, how can he compare with Ningluo? Ji Yu Ni smiled and said, Sorry, we won't disclose customer information. Then can you show me the foundation building spirit? At this time, Ji Yu Ni took out the foundation building essence from Na Jia. Yao always took a look. His eyes widened suddenly, and he was extremely shocked. How can it be? How can there be such a pure foundation building essence in this world? It seems that the person who refines this foundation building spirit liquid is definitely a good alchemist. At this time, Ji Yu Ni smiled and said, Is there anything else to auction for the two of you? If not, please go back. Old Yao shook his head and had to go back with Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan returned home. Teacher, what's going on? How come others will refine the foundation building spirit liquid? Xiao Yan asked in shock. 
Old Yao said lightly. I don't know, but what is certain is that this pharmacist is definitely not easy. At this moment, Xiao Yan's door suddenly rang. Yanur, Xiao Yan opened the door and saw Xiao Zan walk in. Xiao Yan then opened the door and looked at Xiao Zan who was standing outside the door. He shook his head and asked with a smile, Father, what's the matter? Chapter 31 I can't come to you if I'm okay, you little guy, you have been hiding from me for two months. The huge palm of his hand rubbed Xiao Yan's head affectionately, and Xiao Zan scolded with a smile. Looking at Xiao Zan's mellow smile, Xiao Yan felt a little moved. He twitched his sore nose, but didn't know what to say. Still blaming herself for that thing, he he, she despises my son, it is her loss, what is so sad, the big man, why be such a little girl, I know, my son of Xiao Zan, it's definitely not a waste. Xiao Zan said boldly. He he, father, in three years, Yunur will go to Yunlanzong himself. Xiao Yan said softly with a smile. Xiao Zan smiled slightly, his eyes fixed on Xiao Yan, hesitatingly said, Father is nothing, you really plan to go, father didn't say that you are not as good as Nalan Yanren, but Yun Lanzong's strength. Xiao Yan smiled slightly and nodded, his thin lips pressed into a somewhat stubborn line, Father, there are some things that can't be avoided. It's a man, so I have to bear it. He <laughs> he, this temperament is very similar to me. The two big brothers are very happy to know that you can think that way. Xiao Zan smiled comfortably at Xiao Yan's persistence, sighed, and then heaved heavily. Nodded. Okay, my father is just waiting for my son to make money for me. I want Nalansu, the old fool someday, with a betrothal gift, begging me to take back the original divorce letter. Xiao Yan nodded and laughed. Here, here it is, it's my father's sponsorship. From his arms, Xiao Yan took out a white jade bottle that Xiao Yan was very familiar with, and Xiao Zan handed it over. Looking at this for a few times, he returned to the foundation building spirit liquid in his hand, Xiao Yan felt a little didn't know whether to laugh or cry, but he kept a puzzled expression on his face, Father, this is. The foundation building spirit fluid can speed up the cultivation speed of Duji Qi, which I bought today. Xiao Zan cracked his mouth and laughed. It costs a lot of money, Xiao Yan received the white jade bottle, and there was a warm flow in Xiao Yan's heart. 40,000 gold coins, but as long as they are useful to you, they are worth the money. Xiao Zan smiled indifferently. This statement came out. Xiao Yan was shocked. Father, you, why did you buy it? Xiao Yan felt a pain in his heart. Not only did the own foundation building spirit liquid not sold, but my father bought it for 40,000 gold coins. This, I lost my grandma's house. What's wrong? As a father, you can't buy some foundation building spirits for your own son. Xiao Zan laughed. You bought me this foundation building spiritual solution for 40,000 gold coins, Elder and the others, I'm afraid they can use this as an excuse to make trouble again. Xiao Yan smiled bitterly. Hey, I'm the leader of this clan, and they can't just move their lips. Xiao Zan snorted coldly. Father, thank you. At the coming of age ceremony a year later, I will close their quiet mouths. Xiao Yan pursed his lips and chuckled. Okay, I'm waiting for the moment when my son transforms again. Although I don't know where Xiao Yan's confidence came from, Xiao Zan was extremely happy with his son's confident appearance and laughed immediately. Okay, it doesn't prevent you from taking a rest. If you have anything to do, come to your father, your family, what's good about losing face? Waved his hand, Xiao Zan turned and strode towards the front yard. You have to deal with those old immortals. It just cost 40,000 gold coins. They are as anxious as eating your coffins. Xiao Zan murmured vaguely, fluttering in the darkness. Looking at Xiao Zan who disappeared into the darkness, Xiao Yan touched his nose and smiled in a low voice. Don't worry, father, I will use reality to silence those guys. Three years ago, I could make them look up. Three years later, I still can. Ning Luo found a place to live in Wudan City. He got a few chances to sign in. It's all ready. Sign in. Ding. Congratulations to the host for signing in successfully and obtaining the cultivation technique. Spiritual restraint. Ning Luo was a little surprised. What is the effect of this soul staying technique? Ning Luo asked directly. Ding. The soul holding technique has absolute suppressing ability for people in the soul state. No matter how powerful a master, as long as it is in the soul state, he can't escape the host's soul-holding technique. 
For ordinary people, you can also use the soul holding technique, which can suck out the soul of others, but it can only be used for people whose soul power is weaker than their own. Ning Luo was shocked. This is the perfect technique. Ning Luo knew who was the last big boss in this fighting spirit continent. Soul Palace. That's right, the Soul Hall. The Soul Hall likes to use the soul ability. If he has acquired this soul holding technique, isn't it the natural enemy of the Soul Hall? There is also Xiao Yan. Even though Xiao Yan has Yao Lao's help, but with this spirit restraint technique, wouldn't Yao Yao be suppressed by him? Now, even if Xiao Yan allowed Yao Lao to possess his body, it would be impossible for Xiao Yan to be his own opponent. Ning Luo was very happy, stretched out, and walked outside. Ning Luo came to a forest. He is going to cultivate in the mountains and forests. Ning Luo cultivated his own fighting skills, and cultivated all kinds of fighting skills. Although he already has a sign-in system, he still needs cultivation if he wants to become stronger. After the cultivation, Ning Luo was sweaty. At this moment, he suddenly heard the sound of running water. He found a hot spring. Ning Luo saw the hot spring, he looked at it, and there was no one around, so he took off his clothes and jumped down. Entering the hot spring, the water is only waist-deep, warm and smooth, and clear, making people forget the mundane past, there is nothing in the heart, no self in the heart. There are six white enamel beds on the right side of the pool. The bed is turned with blisters, like a white jade bed, lying on it, enjoying the real warmth like water bubble massage. Ning Luo relaxed wholeheartedly. At this moment, he suddenly heard someone coming here. Ning Luo was shocked and quickly hid behind a rock. At this time, Ning Luo saw a stunning piece of money coming, dressed in neon clothes changed into a brocade robe of a fiery red dragon, which was full of color and brilliance. The flaming red robe, like butterfly wings, was embroidered with golden lines, floating among the snowy flowers, dazzling everyone's eyes. On the jade-colored face of the fairy, the shadow cast by the thick eyelashes is like the light ink stain on the rice paper. The pair of spiritual pupils are ethereal and gorgeous, like water, shining like morning stars. The hair is flowing down like a black spring water, and the fluttering hair arouses layers of ink streamers. On the crown of golden light brocade, there is a curtain of colorful glaze beads hanging down like auspicious clouds. Ning Luo looked at the woman. She looked very beautiful. The best thing was her big long legs, graceful and round slender legs, thin and smooth calves, with delicate and smooth, delicate jade bones, really as Ting Ting Yuli. Ding, the goddess Xiao Yu is detected, interact with Xiao Yu and get the opportunity to sign in. At this time, Ning Luo watched Xiao Yu slowly remove Own's clothes, and his slender figure suddenly appeared in front of Ning Luo. The waves are raging, swaying. Especially those long legs make people dizzy. Now Ning Luo, his legs are full of brains. This stone is so big, this water, so white. Ning Luo did not expect that there would be such a place on this mountain. The moon is sparse, and the sky is shining brightly. A waterfall in front of me slowly flowed down into the pool water. The small Qingtan was very clear, I saw that it was covered with pebbles, and I could vaguely see a few red koi wandering in it. As soon as the waterfall poured into the pool, small white flowers rose into the sky, splashing jade and throwing beads. A huge water curtain appeared in front of him. The water slapped against the shore rocks and made a loud noise. The splashes of water turned into white smoke in an instant, which immediately evaporated, repeating itself again and again. The big waterfall cascaded down from midair like a shining crystal curtain. Water vapor continuously emerged from the pool water, like a paradise on earth. Xiao Yu wore a brocade robe and a blue silk jade belt, running with the horse, his clothes flying. The jade-like appearance, the demeanor of the world. Everything is shocking wherever he goes. In her indigo blue robe, the neckline and cuffs are embroidered with silver thread and flowing moir piping, and a cyan auspicious cloud bandage is tied around her waist. His black hair was tied up and he wore a small silver crown with jade inlaid on it, and the white jade crystal on the silver crown further brought out the blackness and smoothness of his hair, like silk and satin. However, Xiao Yu's elegance was a little bit more dusty. Behind the back, the wide skirt is elegant and luxurious. The black jade-like blue silk is simply tied with a flying fairy bun, and a few full and round pearls are randomly dotted between the hair, making the dark cloud-like hair more soft, shiny and moist. 
The beautiful eyes are full of colors, and there is a light smile between the red lips. Such Xiao Yu is really beautiful and moving. Xiao Yu came to the edge of the pool. There was a small waterfall with fishes playing in it. He immediately sat down, sat on the edge of the pool, and exclaimed, What a beautiful place. Xiao Yu took off his clothes and dangled his legs on Xiao Qi Tan, enjoying the tranquility of this moment, as if he had no intention of leaving here. I saw that she gently untied her own robe, and then jumped off Kai Tan. She, ready to be here, bathed in the pool. At this time, even Ning Luo was a little shocked. Xiao Yu took off his clothes and entered the pool. Xiao Yu was in the pool, constantly stroking his skin with water. Ning Luo at this moment, even more excited, he seemed to have an unprecedented feeling, and then he felt like an army of thousands of horses in his heart, constantly riding his horse. He hid behind the stone, calmly watching the scene in front of him. Xiao Yu's slender thighs turned up, and he was constantly playing in the water. Huge waves hovering above the water surface, looming, agitating layers of ripples. It's hard to go home once, this hot spring feels really comfortable. Xiao Yu said. Ning Luo hid behind the stone. Suddenly, he stepped on a smooth stone. The sole of the foot slipped. Bang! There was a loud noise. I saw Ning Luo fell into the water. Suddenly, Xiao Yu was shocked. Who? At this time, I saw Ning Luo standing in front of Xiao Yu. Xiao Yu looked back and saw that he happened to see Ning Luo leading the way. What? Xiao Yu jumped down and shouted suddenly. You, 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 you. Dot who are you? Ning Luo was shocked. Hurriedly said, don't shout. At this time, how could Xiao Yu not be surprised? She shouted, help, there are gangsters. Ning Luo jumped in front of Xiao Yu in an instant. At this time, if Xiao Yu were to call someone over, it would be even more unclear. Ning Luo quickly hugged Xiao Yu and blocked Xiao Yu's mouth with his hands. Suddenly, Xiao Yu pulled him hard, and he instantly rushed towards Xiao Yu. He threw Xiao Yu into the water. Xiao Yu struggled quickly. Ding, have a blind date with Xiao Yu, and get a chance to sign in. Ding, touch Xiao Yu and get a chance to sign in. Ding, stop Xiao Yu's mouth and get a chance to sign in. The voice of the system kept ringing in Ning Luo's mind. Ning Luo looked at Xiao Yu and said quickly, Don't shout, I'm not a bad person, you promise me not to shout, I will let you go. Aha, Xiao Yu nodded quickly. Ning Luo slowly let go of his hand. At this time, Xiao Yu bit his mouth on Ning Luo's hand. Ding, I was bitten by Xiao Yu and got a chance to sign in. Are you a dog? Ning Luo was shocked, and quickly threw Xiao Yu away. At this time, Xiao Yu shouted, Help! Ning Luo's eyes were cold, and he looked at Xiao Yu and said, If you call again, I will rectify you on the spot. Ning Luo is not a good person, and there are no laws in this world. No matter what Ning Luo wants to do, he can still do it. At this moment, Xiao Yu was taken aback, nodded, not daring to make a sound. Ning Luo let go of Xiao Yu, and then said, I'm not a bad person, don't be afraid, I won't do anything to you. But, but you looked at my body. Xiao Yu looked at Ning Luo and said, Hurt, what's the big deal, don't you also look at me? Ning Luo calmly said, Moreover, I came here first. As long as you don't shout, I won't touch you, okay? Ning Luo looked at Xiao Yu and asked. Hum, Xiao Yu nodded. At this time, I saw Ning Luo stepping ashore and getting dressed. Just after getting dressed, Ning Luo instantly felt a murderous intent. Suffer to death. Suddenly, Xiao Yu killed him directly. Ning Luo turned around and saw that Xiao Yu didn't know when to put on his clothes, and the sword slew towards Ning Luo. Ning Luo was shocked, are you serious? Suddenly, it was running close to the horizon, and Xiao Yu's attack flashed past. At this time, Xiao Yu's long sword was constantly waving, and the white sword ray gleamed in the forest, shining exceptionally in the dark night. Ning Luo kept walking around, hiding from Xiao Yu's long sword. Why don't you make a move? Xiao Yu asked. Xiao Yu suddenly sword ray was brighter, she wanted to force Ning Luo to take a shot, and sword chi moved around. Suddenly, the white sword chi surged towards Ning Luo. Ning Luo looked at Xiao Yu, well, since you want to force me to take action, then I will let you learn my skills. Ning Luo said, suddenly, his figure changed. He wanted to resolve the battle quickly, so this time, he didn't keep his hands. 
seeing the flame condensed in his hand, he suddenly shot out. Xiao Yu was shocked and quickly avoided. The flame hit the ground, and a hole was burned in the ground. What a strong flame! Xiao Yu was shocked. At this time, Ning Luo took the opportunity to rush towards Xiao Yu, and suddenly rushed on her body. Little big sis, if you try my kung fu, then we will try it hard. Suddenly, Ning Luo threw Xiao Yu to the ground and pressed her down. Yu, Xiao Yu was furious and wanted to break free, but who was Ning Luo? He crossed over. Before crossing, he had watched many action movies and learned about a technology called Lock Technology. Ding, lock Xiao Yu and get a chance to sign in. He immediately entangled Xiao Yu's long legs with his legs, holding Xiao Yu's neck with both hands, and locked Xiao Yu firmly to the ground. Ding, wrap Xiao Yu's legs and get a chance to sign in. Xiao Yu's two groups of Wen Ruan directly stuck to Ning Luo's chest. After the identification, they were larger than Xiao Yishan's and much smaller than his own master's. Put it on Xiao Yu's body and get a chance to sign in. Smelly boy, you let me go. Xiao Yu shouted loudly. It was your first hand. Ning Luo said, you. Smelly boy. At this time, Xiao Yu immediately ran cultivation technique, and his vindictiveness skyrocketed. I want to break free from Ning Luo forcibly, but Ning Luo is a nine-star fighter, how can she break free? You. Xiao Yu ignored other things and bit directly on Ning Luo's shoulder. What? Are you a dog? Ning Luo roared with pain, and quickly let go of Xiao Yu. Xiao Yu stood up, both his clothes and hair were messy, holding a long sword, angrily. I killed you, Xiao Yu said loudly. Ning Luo spread his hands helplessly, and the woman was in trouble. Well, if you want to be so dissatisfied, then I will satisfy you. Ning Luo said, a flame condensed with his right hand. Xiao poor mouth, Xiao Yu's long sword flew and killed Ning Luo. Ning Luo immediately released the flame in his hand. Suddenly, the tip of Xiao Yu's sword hit the flames of Ning Luo. Boom! With a loud noise, Xiao Yu directly retreated dozens of steps, and the sword was stationed, barely stabilizing his own body. Ning Luo stood in place with his hands in his arms, his eyes flat. At this moment, Xiao Yu finally understood that even if she tried her best, she would not be Ning Luo's opponent. Ning Luo looked at Xiao Yu and said, Do you still fight? Xiao Yu looked at Ning Luo, and suddenly sat on the ground and started crying. Why are you crying? Ning Luo looked at Xiao Yu helplessly. You have seen my body, I can't get married anymore. Xiao Yu cried and said. Ning Luo looked at Xiao Yu speechlessly, Don't you also look at me? This is different, Xiao Yu said. It's not the same, what's the difference? Ning Luo said calmly. Cried for a while. Xiao Yu didn't cry anymore. She looked at Ning Luo. Although this Ning Luo was a hooligan, she had to say that this Ning Luo was quite handsome. Xiao Yu stood up and looked at Ning Luo and said, Okay, I can't kill you, but I can't get married anymore. You have to be responsible to me. Responsible? Ning Luo looked at Xiao Yu, how to be responsible? If you are not responsible for me, then, one day, I will kill you. Xiao Yu finished speaking and ran out of the woods. At this time, Xiao Ning just came here, Xiao Ning heard Big Sis calling for help, and he came here. He was shocked when he saw Big Sis walking out of the woods disheveled. Why did Big Sis run into the grove in the middle of the night? Isn't it? Xiao Ning looked at Xiao Yu's disheveled clothes, but smiled like a girl in love. It's that rogue who dared to fight Big Sis. I killed you, Xiao Ning said, walking secretly into the woods. However, there is no one here. Suddenly, he felt someone pat his shoulder. What are you looking at? A voice sounded from behind him. Xiao Ning hurriedly said, I think that gangster dared to bully my big sis. Oh, did you see it? The voice sounded again. Not yet. After speaking, Xiao Ning felt something was wrong. What was wrong? At this time, he suddenly thought, who is the person talking to him? He turned his head back quickly, but he saw no one, only a thick stick, slammed on his head. Bang! There was a loud noise. Xiao Ning only felt the darkness in front of him, the golden stars in his eyes, and then fainted. Hey, why is curiosity so heavy? I don't want to be talked about by others. After playing the sap, Ning Luo sighed, then clapped his hands and walked away. Ning Luo rented a place in Wudan City, and then, here, while cultivating, while smelting medicine. 
Ning Luo is cultivating in the room. However, this time, he did not refine the foundation building essence. For him, foundation building spirit liquid has no effect. He refined the solid element spirit liquid. Guyuan spirit liquid is better than foundation building spirit liquid. For Ning Luo, now only Guyuan spirit liquid can make Ning Luo ascension. In the wooden basin in the room, the boy's eyes were closed, his hands were imprinted, and he breathed, as if it were a natural phenomenon. There was a touch of perseverance on the youth's delicate and tender face, and the lips pressed together tightly, revealing a bit of stubbornness. The small body that does not seem to be very strong, but contains the ferocious explosive power like a cheetah. Regardless of the angle of view, the teenager seems to be undergoing transformation at a terrifying speed. When this transformation is completed, it will shock anyone. In the young boy's extremely smooth breathing, a trace of cyan air flow mixed with it, slowly oozing out from the tub, and finally following the boy's breath, pouring into his body. Breathing slowly and smoothly, Ning Luo began to greedily absorb energy from the outside world, and he was ready to attack realm. In the tub, the cyan water liquid oscillated and shimmered, and a gentle flow of energy radiated from the water liquid, scrambling to get into Ning Luo's body. The light blue air flow surged more and more, just for a moment, not only completely concealed Ning Luo's body, even the huge wooden basin was only looming, looking from a distance, it was quite strange. With such endless requests from Ning Luo, the color of the blue water in the basin began to fade at a speed visible to the naked eye. Because of the influx of energy, Ning Luo's face was slightly flushed, and a faint cyan light came out. Along with the rapid gushing of the cyan airflow, the color of the cyan liquid in the tub became lighter and lighter. Finally, at a certain moment, the cyan liquid once again turned into a basin of clear and transparent water. After the endless request lasted for a full half an hour, it finally began to gradually slow down, and at this time, the dark blue water had already faded a bit. When the last ray of gentle energy penetrated into the body along the breath, Ning Luo's body was slightly silent, and then there was a violent tremor, and the lower abdomen contracted slightly. Ning Luo's eyes suddenly opened, and the dark pupils were blue and white. The light flashed quickly, the mouth was slightly widened, and a mouthful of muddy gas was spit out. As soon as the turbid gas separated, Ning Luo's small face suddenly became a bit more energetic. After opening his eyes for a while, Ning Luo twisted his neck and made a crisp bone sound. The palms were slightly squeezed. A feeling of substantial strength made the corners of Ning Luo's mouth a touch of joy. Did Master Realm, closing his eyes slightly, Shen Shen sensed the full fighting energy in his body, Ning Luo murmured with a low smile. Ning Luo smiled, walked out and put on his clothes. Now Ning Luo has only cultivated for a few months before becoming a realm. For most people, Ning Luo's cultivation realm is already very powerful. Middle Auction House, Appreciation Room the chief auctioneer of the middle auction house, Yafei, is now opening her ruddy mouth slightly in surprise, and staring at the seven bottles of foundation building spirits in front of her in a daze. She has a plump breast with a visual impact. Lightly draw a thrilling arc. Cough, Ning Luo, who was sitting not far from the concubine Ya, coughed dryly and woke her up. Yu Shou gently stroked the warm white jade bottle, Yafei picked it up and sniffed, then handed it to Ji Yuni who was beside her. After receiving the white jade bottle, Guni inspected it carefully, and said in a little surprise, this time, it turned out to be a solid essence liquid that is even better than the foundation-building spiritual liquid. Listening to Ji Yuni's confirmation, Yafei Dei's eyebrows were raised lightly, and her charming eyes swept across Ning Luo's body in front of her. Her smiling pretty face was full of seductive charms, I didn't expect Mr. Ning to give our auction will bring such a big deal. Ning Luo smiled and said, well, I'll leave it to you for auction. Seeing his promise, the smile on Yafei Chao's face suddenly became stronger. Yu Shou held the teacup beside her and delivered it personally. She was basically sure that the Ning Luo in front of her was definitely a man. The second rank, even the third rank alchemist. Holding a teacup and taking a sip, Ning Luo smiled, I don't know if your auction will help me get some medicinal materials. Beautiful eyes lit up slightly, and Yafei sat on the chair beside her, her charming curve stood out, and she smiled and said, what kind of medicinal materials does Mr. Ning need? Ning Luo smiled and told Yafei the medicinal materials he needed. After hearing this, 
concubine Yaw's huge chest was undulating, and she quickly said, Okay, we will definitely find these medicinal materials for her husband at the auction. Ning Luo smiled and said, Okay. At this time, Ya Fei looked at Ning Luo. Ning Luo is not only a second-rank alchemist, he is also so powerful, but he is also so handsome. Who is not tempted by such a young man? Mr. Ning, can you join me for a meal? Ya Fei looked at Ning Luo and asked. Ning Luo smiled, this is a good opportunity to get close to Ya Fei and get the sign in. Of course Ning Luo would not refuse, and said lightly, naturally. At this time, Ya Fei stood up, smiled and said, Mr. Ning, please. Concubine Ya walked ahead, and Ning Luo followed behind Concubine Ya. Ya Fei's water snake waist swayed, releasing alluring amorous feelings, and the bumpy plump figure made some men with weak self-control almost have the urge to fire in their lower abdomen. Fairy, cursed in his heart again, Ning Luo shrank back and nodded lightly. At this time, Ya Fei turned her head and smiled slightly at Ning Luo, with a charming smile on her face. After being shocked fiercely by this smile, Ning Luo was really not an opponent of this fox spirit. At this time, Ya Fei brought Ning Luo to a private room of their Michelle Hotel. Only Ning Luo and Ya Fei were in the hotel. Mr. Ning doesn't know what to eat. The long and narrow beautiful eyes curled up in a beautiful arc, Ya Fei smiled, and her soft voice made De Ning Luo a little surprised. Ning Luo smiled and said, Can you eat it? Ha 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 ha, Mr. Ning can really laugh. The ruddy little mouth opened slightly, and Ya Fei was also slightly angry. However, there was some anger in her heart, but Ya Fei's charming face was still smiling. At this time, Ning Luo smiled and said, Okay, no joke, you can order it. The charming pretty face was stunned for a moment, and then she burst into joy, and only then did Ya Fei calm down her pretty face ruddy. Concubine Ya ordered some side dishes, then brought a jug of wine. Concubine Ya picked up the wine glass, handed it to Ning Luo, filled Ning Luo with wine, and said with a smile, Mr. Ning, you must have a drink with me. Ning Luo nodded slightly, drank all the wine in his glass. Ning Luo looked at Ya Fei and said, Ya Fei big sis, let's have a drink together. There was a touch of joy in her beautiful eyes, and Ya Fei nodded quickly. Ning Luo took a sip of wine and immediately said, Good wine. Brother Ning Luo is going to have a few swigs with me. Ning Luo smiled and said, Naturally. The two toasted to invite the moon, and had a drink. The two began to chat. Ning Luo found that this concubine was very angry with Own, and his values and outlook on life were very similar to him. Therefore, the two can talk very well. Before they knew it, the two chatted into the night. Several jars of wine have been drunk. At this time, Ning Luo was a little bit drunk. He doesn't drink badly, but he really drank a little too much. It was the first time that he had had such a drink with someone else when he came to the mainland of Fighting Spirit. At this time, looking at the face of Concubine Ya, her small face was a little red, it was obvious that she was already drunk. Concubine Ya sat lazily on the chair, showing her curves, blinking her long and narrow eyes, and whispered in a slightly puzzled voice, Mr. Ning is good at drinking. Ning Luo smiled and said, you are not bad. At this time, Concubine Ya was a little drunk, and she looked at Ning Luo. Ning Luo is a romantic juvenile. Ning Luo wore a brocade dress, a jade belt wrapped around his waist, sword eyebrows into the temples, eyes like cold stars, slender body like a jade tree standing, and a noble expression like a round of bright nine heavens. Duan is a rare beautiful man in the world. Looking at Ning Luo's face, Ya Fei couldn't help clamping her legs. At this moment, she seemed a bit poetic. Ning Luo also looked at her, and couldn't help but sigh secretly in his heart, there is such an elegant and refined person in the world. The white clothes are like snow, the temperament is elegant, the person exudes a soft and clean light like a bright moon in the sky, and is not as handsome as a mortal, and there is also a transcendent indifferent and calm expression in his expression. I wonder if the immortals on nine heavens are like this. And his eyes, like the sea of star, are full of endless temptation. Concubine Ya looked at the white-clothed man, if she came volleyed in the air, she was not dusty, her eyes were as bright as star, staring at her, causing her to lose her mind for a moment. Is there such a graceful person in the world? Ya Fei, what's the matter? Ning Luo asked softly. Only then did Ya Fei react. She looked at Ning Luo and said, 
Ning Luo, why don't I give you a dance? Ning Luo smiled and said, it's a great honor. Concubine Ya slowly got up and danced, graceful and graceful like a dragon. The jade hand was slender, and a red diamond suddenly slipped from the fragrant shoulder, which was very tempting. Nothing was worn on the long thighs, the skirt floated slightly, and the long snow-white legs exposed in the air, which made people imaginative. Although this concubine is very beautiful, Ning Luo is a little bit fanciful. Ning Luo was drinking. At this time, Ning Luo looked at concubine Ya. Concubine Ya dressed in red, glamorous and glamorous, with a green silk hanging down like a waterfall. The golden hairpin rolled up her long hair in a simple bun, and the red flowers exuded a strong breath, which made the elegant concubine also bewitching. The red dress is embroidered with gold patterns, gorgeous and elegant, just like fireworks blooming in the sky. She has a red dress, under her slender jade neck, a piece of crispy breasts like white jade, half covered, with a waist and a bunch, which is not a full grip, and her long, hydrated and well-proportioned legs are exposed, even beautiful. The lotus feet were also silently enchanting, sending out alluring invitations. The attire of this concubine is undoubtedly extremely gorgeous, but compared with her demeanor, this Yanye seems to be much inferior. Her big eyes are smiling and pretty and demon, the water is covering the fog and the ground is rippling with intrigue, the corners of her small mouth are slightly raised, and the red lips are slightly open, trying to attract people to fangs. This is a woman who exudes alluring from the bones, she seems to be seducing men all the time, affecting men's nerves. Suddenly, concubine Ya fell into Ning Luo's arms. She looked at Ning Luo with eyes like autumn water and asked, Ning Luo, do you like me like this? I saw that concubine Ya fell in Ning Luo's arms and whispered, do you like me like this? Ning Luo did not answer, but gently leaned over and kissed Ya Fei's mouth. Concubine Ya's body was lying in Ning Luo's arms, and Ning Luo held concubine Ya and kissed her. Ding, kiss Ya Fei and get a chance to sign in. Ding, embrace Ya Fei, get a chance to sign in. Ning Luo and Ya Fei got many sign-in opportunities in various poses. At this time, I saw concubine Ya sitting up, leaning in Ning Luo's ear and gently saying, go to my room. Ning Luo nodded, entered Ya Fei's room. Ning Luo discovered that Yafei really likes red. Not only the red dress, but the whole boudoir is red, with red curtains, red quilts, red pillows, and red belly bands. Concubine Ya dressed in red, glamorous and glamorous, with a green silk hanging down like a waterfall. The golden hairpin rolled up her long hair in a simple bun, and the red flowers exuded a strong breath, which made the elegant concubine also bewitching. The red dress is embroidered with gold patterns, gorgeous and elegant, just like fireworks blooming in the sky. She was covered in red, under her slender jade neck, a piece of crispy breast was like white jade, half covered, and her waist was tied, but she didn't even hold it. A pair of long, hydrated and well-proportioned legs are bare, and even the beautiful lotus feet are silently enchanting, sending out alluring invitations. The attire of this concubine is undoubtedly extremely gorgeous, but compared with her demeanor, this Yanye seems to be much inferior. Her big eyes were smiling and pretty and demon, the water covered the mist and the ground was rippling with intrigue. The corners of the small mouth are slightly raised, and the red lips are slightly open, trying to attract people to fangs. This is a woman who exudes seductiveness from the bones. She seems to seduce men all the time and affect men's nerves. By the way, I want to take a bath, do you want to take a bath together? Ya Fei looked at Ning Luo and asked. Concubine Ya was very elegant and dignified in front of outsiders, but when she returned to the room, she seemed to have been depressed in front of outsiders for too long, and she was relatively relaxed in front of Ning Luo. Of course, Ning Luo immediately hugged Ya Fei's thin waist. You are really bad, Ya Fei quipped. Men are not bad, women don't love. Let's wash them together. Ning Luo said while looking at Yafei. Concubine Ya was so charming, she smiled and said, okay. Concubine Ya said, suddenly waving her sleeves, curling up Ning Luo, and flew into the inner room. There is a big pool in the room, and the pool is full of flower petals. Concubine Ya gently sank into the water, and the petals floated. Do I take it off for you, or do you take it off yourself? Yafei's smile became stronger. Ning Luo smiled helplessly, and had no choice but to enter the pool with concubine Ya. Into the water. Ning Luo, let me rub your back. Ya Fei smiled. 
Ning Luo nodded. At this time, I saw the concubine Ya come to Ning Luo's back and leaned down slightly, and the earthly scene accidentally touched Ning Luo's back. Concubine Ya was a little embarrassed, and quickly sat in the water. The petals in the pool were bright, and concubine Ya and Ning Luo were in the water. At this time, Ning Luo turned around and hugged concubine Ya. Concubine Ya looked at Ning Luo, a little surprised. You grinning little fairy, Ning Luo said while looking at the concubine Ya. Please be gentle with me. Ya Fei looked at Ning Luo. Ning Luo smiled and said, Sorry, you are so beautiful, I'm afraid I won't be gentle tonight. I saw Ning Luo running dual cultivation cultivation technique, holding Ya Fei. In the water, a little bit of asterisk asterisk asterisk, slowly fainted. Ding, congratulations to the host for getting a chance to sign in. Stayed up all night, Ning Luo and Ya Fei tried many times. The postures were different, so Ning Luo also unlocked many sign-in opportunities. From Ya Fei alone, Ning Luo got no less than 18 chances to sign in. The next day, I saw that concubine Ya leaned against Ning Luo's chest. Ning Luo, from today, I will be your woman, you have to be responsible to me. Ya Fei looked at Ning Luo and said. Ning Luo nodded and said, don't worry, I will be responsible for you. Last night, Ning Luo had already passed yin and yang dual cultivation to the concubine Ya. Concubine Ya is only a one-star fighter realm, but after cultivating with Ning Luo, she has gained a lot of vindictiveness, and she has reached a two-star fighter. The next time, Ning Luo stayed with Ya Fei. Ning Luo cultivates and refines medicine pill every day. Ya Fei helped Ning Luo auction. Ning Luo made a lot of money, and they worked very happily. Since then, Ning Luo is not short of money. Ning Luo's strength gradually ascension, unconsciously, he ascension to the strength of the second star fighter. Ning Luo came to Yutan City for almost a month or two. Ning Luo wanted to go back and have a look. Look at the little doctor, look at Nalan Yanren and own master. Therefore, Ning Luo decided to go back. Ning Luo often ran towards the auction, and gradually got acquainted with Yafei. It's been a long time since Master and Nalan Yanren should worry about themselves. It's time to go back. He refined 10 Yuyan pills, which he gave to Yafei. Although Yuyan pills are not expensive medicine pills, they are at least the second rank medicine pill. 10 Yuyan pills cost at least hundreds of thousands of dollars. Can be bought. And Ning Luo knew that Yafei's cultivation base was not high, so sending her a few Yuyan pills could keep her youth. But for someone like his own master, there is no need for such a thing at all. In fact, Ning Luo never knew how old his own master was. He was a master of fighting emperor, but he always seemed to be 20 years old. The real age was probably dozens of years old. Ning Luo left the Xiao family and hurried to the direction of Yun Lanzong. Before returning to the Yunlin sect, Ning Luo wanted to go to Qingshan town first. He and Xiao Yishan hadn't seen each other for more than a few months, so he went back to see that Xiaonizi. Ning Luo came to Qingshan town. At this time, Qingshan town had undergone tremendous changes. After Mr. Yao was removed, the life of the people in Qingshan town was much happier. They were no longer suppressed and exploited by Mr. Yao, and gradually became wealthy through their own hard work. Because Wan Yaojai was robbed by Ning Luo, Xiao Yishan became the doctor of Wan Yaojai and operated Wan Yaojai by himself. However, Xiao Yishan was a bit shrewd. With the help of the villagers, she developed Wan Yaojai and then found a lot of helpers to come to Wan Yaojai to help. He came to Qingshan town and walked towards Wan Yaojai. Wan Yaojai has recruited many helpers and doctors from other places. At this moment, Ning Luo walked into Wan Yaojai. A guy stopped Ning Luo and said, Little brother, are you going to buy medicine? Ning Luo smiled, he said lightly, No, I don't sell medicine, I'm looking for a little doctor. You look for our boss. Our boss is resting now, you can come back later. The man said quickly. Boss, no, isn't he the owner of Wan Yaojai? When did Xiao Yixian become the boss? Ning Luo thought to himself, When you see Xiao Yishan, you must teach her a lesson. At this moment, Ning Luo suddenly felt something was wrong, and there was a poisonous gas in the air. He is a pharmacist, and of course he can feel that the poison gas is emitted from the Wan Yao Jai. Could it be that the little doctor immortal is refining poison? Not good. Ning Luo was suddenly shocked. 
you have to rush inside. At this time, the guy immediately stopped him, little brother, you can't rush inside. Roll, Ning Luo yelled violently, and the strength of the two star fighter suddenly burst out. Boom, there was a loud noise, and the guy was directly shocked by him. Ning Luo stepped into the Wanya Jai, and walked towards the little doctor's room. As he walked, he was extremely surprised that the poisonous gas came from Xiao Yishan's room, and the closer it was to Xiao Yishan's room, the stronger the poisonous gas. At this moment, Ning Luo thought of Xiao Yishan's poisonous body. Could it be that Xiao Yishan's poisonous body broke out? Ning Luo didn't think much, rushed to the room a few steps and opened the door. At this time, Xiao Yixian fainted on the bed, and the poisonous gas was emitted from her body. Ning Luo guessed it was right, it was indeed that Xiao Yishan's virulent body broke out. The smoke in the room gradually dissipated, and I saw that on the bed, Xiao Yixian was closing his eyes tightly, the original ruddy face, at this moment, was also showing weird colorful colors. Now, Xiao Yishan's poisonous body has broken out, and it must be suppressed immediately. Only his supreme body can be suppressed, and the method of suppression is also very simple, that is dual cultivation. Now Xiao Yixian is unconscious, and can't let it go. Ning Luo came to Xiao Yishan cautiously. Although he wanted to save Xiao Yishan, he couldn't lose his life just to save Xiao Yishan. He thought for a while, he is the supreme divine body, since the own supreme divine body can suppress the poisonous body, don't think too much, it's over. Ning Luo immediately put his hand on the little doctor immortal. Ning Luo took a step closer, and he hugged Xiao Yixian, and held Xiao Yixian's body in Ong's arms. While Ning Luo was still thinking, Xiao Yixian's body suddenly emitted a purple light. But at this moment, there was a knock on the door. Boy, what do you want to do to our shopkeeper? Boy, come out. If you can come out, we will rush in. When Ning Luo heard it, it seemed that the guards recruited by Xiao Yishan had come. As a weak woman, Xiao Yishan was in charge of this Wanyajai. With the help of the villagers, she had recruited many guards. Now Ning Luo rushed directly into Xiao Yixian's room, how could the guards ignore it? Ning Luo is now at a critical moment, how could he go out? Bang! Only heard a loud noise outside, the door was kicked open. At this time, the guards were all dumbfounded because they saw Ning Luo sitting on their shopkeeper's bed, holding the shopkeeper in Ong's arms, the problem is that Ong's shopkeeper fainted. This, no matter who saw it, how could it not be unsolvable for them? Ning Luo looked at them in embarrassment, and smiled awkwardly, I said I was saving her, do you believe it? I believe you a ghost. Brothers, he dared to insult our shopkeeper, let's go. With that, a group of guards rushed up. If Ning Luo doesn't save little Dr. Immortal now, with the strength of his two-star battle master, what are these little ones? But now, Xiao Yixian is still in his arms, should he perform the long-lost bosom-holding sister killing? Ning Luo stood up holding the little doctor immortal, his eyes became serious, he knew that it was useless to explain everything now, and the only way to stop them now was to use force. Suddenly, the breath of Ning Luo's two-star battle master was released, and the powerful power immediately dissipated from Ning Luo's body. Boom, with a loud noise, the few people who rushed up were directly shocked by him. At this moment, everyone looked at Ning Luo in astonishment. The child in front of him turned out to be a fighter and a very powerful fighter. How could this be possible? However, the guards invited by Little Doctor Immortal were very loyal. After they were shaken off, they immediately made a comeback. At this moment, Xiao Yixian suddenly opened his eyes. This is... She looked up and suddenly saw a handsome face. So handsome, am I dreaming? However, Xiao Yixian soon felt wrong, and he was now in the arms of a man. Could it be him? The little doctor fairy took a closer look, and it was really Ning Luo. Ning Luo is back, so now it is. Soon Xiao Yixian understood everything. At this moment, the guards also rushed up. Stop. A clear voice rang from Ning Luo's arms. At this time, all the guards stopped because they heard the order of the little doctor. Ning Luo was also very surprised. He looked down at the little doctor and asked, Are you awake? Xiao Yixian nodded shyly. Ning Luo put the little doctor fairy down. At this time, all the guards looked at all of this in surprise. They didn't understand what was going on. Does the shopkeeper really know this kid? The shopkeeper, what's going on, who is this kid? 
A guard asked. At this time, Xiao Yixian raised his head and smiled. Everyone is misunderstanding, he is not an outsider. It's not an outsider, that's. The guard asked. Actually, the real owner of Wanyaojai is not me, but him. Xiao Yixian said. As soon as this remark came out, everyone was shocked and stunned. This kid turned out to be the real master of Wanyaojai. So, Xiao Yishan is also the owner of Wanyaojai, and this kid is also the owner of Wanyaojai. They still hold so close, so is that kind of relationship between them. Suddenly, everyone wanted to understand this, but after trying to understand this, they were even more shocked. What shocked them was not the relationship between Ning Luo and Xiao Yishan, but their age. After that, everyone retreated with a strange smile on their faces. Ning Luo saw what they looked like, and asked quickly, Crack, did I say you misunderstood something? At this time, several guards showed meaningful smiles, No, no, there is no misunderstanding, the two shopkeepers, just as if we didn't see anything, you continue, continue, and strive to give us life as soon as possible. A little shopkeeper. Everyone retreated. At this time, Xiao Yishan's poison had not been suppressed. Ning Luo smiled maliciously. The little doctor immortal lay in Ning Luo's arms blushing, and looked at Ning Luo with winking eyes and asked, Ning Luo, what do you want to do? Ning Luo smiled and said, of course I help you suppress the poison. After speaking, Ning Luo kissed the little doctor fairy. The two of them turned to Yin and Yang's method, and gradually entered into their bodies. Ning Luo was very excited. He hugged the little doctor immortal and used the own supreme divine body to suppress the little doctor immortal's virulent body. At this time, Ning Luo discovered that his own grudge was constantly losing and was constantly sucked away by the little doctor immortal. This little girl can really suck. At the risk of being sucked up, Ning Luo kept putting own fighting spirit into Xiao Yixian's body to help her suppress the toxins. Until Xiao Yishan's face all the poison gas dissipated. At this time, Ning Luo finally breathed a sigh of relief. Ning Luo stayed in Qingshan town for two months afterwards. He and Yafei had various poses before and got many sign-in opportunities. Came to Qingshan town, and Xiao Yishan got many sign-in opportunities. Therefore, in Ning Luo, there are still dozens of opportunities to sign in. Ning Luo signed in as much as he wanted. The cultivation technique that Ning Luo signed in before has not been digested, so Ning Luo signed in several times each time. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in successfully, and gaining the ground level fighting skills profound spiritual prajna power. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in successfully and obtaining the cultivation technique sword intent. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in successfully, and gaining the ground level fighting skills. The sword intent signed this time is worth paying attention to. The true sword intent technique is a cultivation technique, just like Xiao Yan's Fen Ju, but Xiao Yan's Fen Ju is for making fire, and Ning Luo's sword intent is for practicing sword. Motivate sword intent with a grudge. I have to say that this cultivation technique is much better than Fen Ju. Ning Luo is cultivated in Qingshan town. The two of them lived very happily in Qingshan town. They went to gather medicine together, came back to refining medicine together, and then went to see a doctor together. The two managed Wanyao Jai, and they looked good to many people. The residents of Qingshan town thanked Ning Luo and Xiao Yishan very much, and they all praised and praised them, and regarded them as gods and goddesses. However, Ning Luo will return to Yunlanzong for the Feast of the World, so he can only say goodbye to Xiao Yishan. He and Xiao Yishan spent two months together, and in these two months, Xiao Yishan's body has almost recovered, so he still has to go back to Yunlanzong. Ning Luo also directly ascension to the realm of the Samsung fighter. However, he did not go back forever. Qingshan town was only separated from Yunlanzong by the magical beast's mountain range. Ning Luo could return to Qingshan town anytime when he returned. Besides, now Wanyaojai is owned, how could he never go back? When Ning Luo came back from cultivation, he was going to talk to the little doctor immortal about this. As if he heard the sound of footsteps not far away, Xiao Yishan frowned his willow eyebrows, looked away from the scroll, and looked at the young man walking slowly under the shining of moonlight. He couldn't help but smile. Cultivation, is it done? There is still hot food in the house. Hearing such soft whispers, Ning Luo's heart moved slightly. 
These words and scenes were like the little wife who had been waiting for her husband to return for a long time. The gentle words contained waiting and concern. The expression on his face became softer, and Ning Luo came closer and sat down beside Xiao Yixian with his eyes on that pretty cheek. I might have to go tomorrow. Ning Luo suddenly said, looking at the little doctor fairy. Little Dr. Shan Yu's hand stiffened slightly, and after a while, it became soft. Little Dr. Xian nodded slightly, and said softly, I have stayed here for such a long time, and it is indeed time to leave. I want to go back to Yunlanzong, but don't worry, I will be back soon. Ning Luo rubbed his forehead, raised his head and looked at the stars in the sky, and said. Oh, Xiao Yishan nodded slightly, looking at Xiao Yixian's somewhat sorrowful and clean side face, Ning Luo opened his mouth slightly, trying to say something, but couldn't speak. I'm dependent on you. You must come back. If you don't come back, I will sell Wanyaojai and go so far, so that you will never find me. Xiao Yishan said wittily. Ning Luo smiled and nodded, and stretched out his fingers to plan on Na Jia. The same small jade bottle appeared in his palm. The jade bottle also contained seven Qi Qi recovery pills, which were left over from the previous Ning Luo cultivation down. Raising the jade bottle in his hand, Ning Luo raised it to the little doctor fairy, and said with a smile, this is for you. Hearing this, Xiao Yixian's smart eyes lit up slightly, staring at the jade bottle in Ning Luo's hand, and said in surprise, in this, is medicine pill. Well, here, I gave it to you. Smiling and nodding, Ning Luo also threw it to Xiao Yixian, who hurriedly caught it carefully. Be careful, what should I do if it breaks? After catching the small jade bottle, the little doctor gave Ning Luo a strange look, and then hurriedly opened the bottle cap, leaning out from it, pouring out a slightly greenish and round medicine pill. Putting it under Chow's nose and sniffing it lightly, the fresh medicinal scent made the little doctor immortal slightly intoxicated and sad. The pharmacist, she had pursued for many years, but unfortunately, in the end, she could only smell the smell of poison. As this medicine pill, it's really not something I can compare with the rough blending of medicinal materials with ordinary flames. Looking at the roundness and luster on the surface of medicine pill, the little doctor fairy sighed and said helplessly. Okay, I'm giving you medicine pill, but it's not meant to hit you. Medicine pill is called Chi Chi pill. It can quickly restore the fighting energy consumed in the body. With the help of Chi Chi pill, it may save a lot of effort. Looking at the self-pity of the little doctor, Ning Luo shook his head and said. Then I'm welcome, the little doctor said with a smile after putting the jade bottle away. Ning Luo smiled, not entangled in this issue, leaning against the door, quietly looking up at the sky star. Infected by the quiet atmosphere, little doctor immortal also fell silent, his jade arms wrapped around his slender legs, his smart eyes, and the star in the sky, blinked quietly at the same time. The moonlight was charming, a man and a woman looked up at the night sky quietly, until the moon in the sky gradually dimmed, and the two sleepy people leaned on each other, leaning on the door panel, and slowly fell asleep. Early the next morning, Ning Luo left Qingshan town. He passed the magical beast's mountain range and hurried towards Yunlanzong. I haven't returned to Yunlanzong for more than a year, I'm afraid the master and junior sister miss themselves very much, so Ning Luo wanted to go back soon. Entering the magical beast's mountain range, Ning Luo rushed towards Yunlanzong without delay. Although it was a hurry, he would pick any good medicinal materials that Ning Luo encountered along the way. When encountering the second order magical beasts, he will also kill them. Although magic core is good, not every magical beast has it. Ning Luo is an alchemist, and this kind of magic core is very scarce, so when he sees magical beasts, he will kill and try his luck. At this moment, in the silent forest, the group of men and horses were walking quietly, with vigilant gazes, constantly scanning the dark places among the surrounding trees, palms tightly holding the weapon at the waist, ready to deal with it. All emergencies. Ning Luo heard the noise and suddenly jumped up and sat on a tree. He looked down, it should be a group of mercenaries. In the magical beasts' mountains, there are often mercenaries coming and going. They come here to take risks, in order to kill some magical beasts, get magic cores and sell them. Those mercenaries were very careful. It seemed that they should be old mercenaries who had been fighting for many years in the magical beasts' mountains. 
As veteran mercenaries who have been in the Magical Beasts Mountains for many years, they all maintain a basic tacit understanding. With interlocking eyes, they can also recognize some danger and safety signals from the opponent's eyes. Regarding these mercenaries, Ningluo didn't want to take care of them, nor did he want to get involved with them in any way. Because he knew that getting involved with them would bring endless trouble. Ning Luo sat on the tree, waiting for them to leave here. At this time, Ning Luo fell from the tree. He continued to walk in the direction of Yun Lanzong. As soon as Ning Luo got down from the tree, at this moment, a magical beast suddenly attacked him. The attacker is a second order magical beast, named Bloodthirsty Snake. This kind of magical beast is quite common in the periphery of the magical beast's mountains. If it is not its opponent, it will drain the opponent's blood. And this kind of magical beasts is definitely considered very powerful among the second order magical beasts, not only bloodthirsty, but also poisonous. Once met, if you can't kill him, you will be sucked into a corpse by it. Although this kind of magical beasts is very powerful, his second order magic core has an extremely powerful effect. The bloodthirsty snake's magic core with blood clotting grass can refine a very powerful second rank medicine pill bloodthirsty Dan. The bloodthirsty pill is just like a name. After taking it, you can make a person ascension three small realms, which is definitely beneficial when you are desperate. In other words, you are a seven stage fighting spirit. After eating a bloodthirsty pill, you can instantly ascension become a fighter. But there are pros and cons. Taking bloodthirsty pills will reduce their own life, but when desperately, who cares about their lifespan for a few years? Ning Luo hadn't refined the bloodthirsty pill, and now the second order magical beast's bloodthirsty snake came to the door, and Ning Luo was not welcome. The bloodthirsty snake rushed towards Ning Luo immediately. It opened its big mouth and bit down towards Ning Luo's shoulder. If it was bitten by it, it would be paralyzed and could not move. When the time came, it could only be sucked up alive. Ning Luo knew that it had such characteristics, and how could it make such a mistake? so he flashed to the side to avoid the attack of the bloodthirsty snake. Then he ran the vindictiveness and released it immediately. Boom! With a loud noise, a ball of flame hit the bloodthirsty snake. The bloodthirsty snake was directly repelled, but soon, the bloodthirsty snake rushed up again. The bloodthirsty snake deserves to be an extremely powerful existence among the second order magical beasts. Generally, the second order magical beasts are not opponents of this kind of magical beasts. Now Ning Luo has some difficulty facing this bloodthirsty snake. Ning Luo stepped out a few steps and came to the bloodthirsty snake. He wanted to resolve the battle as soon as possible. Suddenly, he condensed an electric arc in his right hand. Ning Luo's fighting skills are extremely powerful. I saw the arc constantly magnifying, forming a bright light in his hand, and lightning was tearing in the light. Go to hell, Ning Luo yelled, and immediately hit all the arcs on the bloodthirsty snake. Boom! With a loud noise, the bloodthirsty snake's body was scorched and limp on the ground. Ning Luo sat on the ground, Ning Luo breathed out slowly, flicking his fingers, a pale green Chi Chi Dan appeared in his palm again, his eyes swept around, Ning Luo turned his head slightly, raised his head and hit he yawned and patted his mouth with the palm of his hand, and medicine pill was also thrown into his belly without a trace. The medicine pill entered the body, and the power of the medicine evaporated quickly. Ning Luo leaned against the tree trunk and closed his eyes slightly, allowing the fast-powered replenisher to replenish the exhausted vindictive energy in the body. The bloodthirsty snake was really powerful, and Ning Luo spent most of his grudge against it. But in the end he was killed. At this time, Ning Luo took out the dagger and walked towards the bloodthirsty snake step by step. He wanted to obtain the magic core of the bloodthirsty snake and refine the bloodthirsty pill in case of emergency. Just as he was unpacking the bloodthirsty snake, at this moment, Ning Luo heard a few noises, and he raised his eyes. He knew that he was already surrounded. Magical Beasts Forest is a place where the weak are prey to the strong, not only among magical beasts. The same is true between magical beasts and people, and between people. In this deep mountain and old forest, it is the place where people show their inner darkness, because here, they don't need to hide anything, and no one will know if people die here. So Ning Luo killed the bloodthirsty snake, and the mercenaries who just passed by must be jealous, wanting to come back to capture Ning Luo's results. Ning Luo stood up holding the dagger. He didn't panic, 
but was extraordinarily calm. Little brother, you are so lucky that you came across a dead second order bloodthirsty snake. At this time, a person's voice sounded. Ning Luo looked up and saw a rough man standing in front of Ning Luo, his eyes fixed on the bloodthirsty snake in Ning Luo's hand. Ning Luo sensed his grudge, it was very likely that he was a fighting master. The big man never thought that this bloodthirsty snake was killed by Ning Luo, because how could such a child be able to fight such fierce magical beasts? It must be the bloodthirsty snake fighting with another kind of magical beasts. The bloodthirsty snake is dead. This kid is lucky enough to pick up such a big bargain. Ning Luo looked at him coldly and said, What do you want to do? At this time, the big man laughed and said, Ha ha ha, little guys, what do we want to do without depending on your performance? I'll tell you directly, you, the bloodthirsty snake, our Eagle Claw mercenary group has taken a fancy to it. If you are acquainted, give it to us and we will let you go. Ning Luo looked into his eyes coldly and said, Oh, what if I don't give it? Ha ha ha, if you don't, if you don't, I don't mind letting a little more fertilizer here. Said the big man coldly. After the commander had finished speaking, immediately, mercenaries rushed out from all directions, surrounded Ning Luo and surrounded Ning Luo in the middle. At this moment, Ning Luo deeply realized that, sure enough, the Duki continent was not a good place. Here is a world of the weaker prey to the strong, a cruel world, without strength, only death. No one has compassion for you just because you are a child. People will do whatever it takes for their benefit, even if they have blood on their hands. After Ning Luo crossed to the continent of Fighting Qi, his life had always been very smooth except for that time when he was almost killed by Yin Feng, even calmly without any waves. This made him doubt the cruelty of this world for a while. But today, he understands that this world is cruel. That being the case, his thinking should have changed slightly. Do you mean that if I don't give it, you will kill people and steal treasures? Ning Luo asked coldly. Little brother, you don't seem to be stupid. You have a strong understanding. Yes, as long as you give us the bloodthirsty snake, we don't have to kill a child, but if you don't, you have to die here. The head coldly said. Ning Luo adjusted his own mentality, took a long breath and said, Okay, I understand. Just understand, you leave the bloodthirsty snake, you go, said the head. Ning Luo's eyes flashed a gloomy look, since you can't make peace anymore, let's kill it. Hearing Ning Luo's words, the mercenaries next to him laughed loudly. Ha 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 ha, did you hear that? This kid said to kill us. As soon as the man's voice fell, the dagger in Ning Luo's hand flew out and directly penetrated his neck. Ning Luo never looked at him from beginning to end. He looked at Ning Luo with some disbelief, how could a 14 5-year-old young man be able to kill himself? But the reality is often cruel. Blood gushes out from his neck. He wants to plug the hole in his neck with his hands, but he can't stop it at all, and blood is coming out. His face gradually changed, from shock to fear, from fear to silence. He knelt limply on the ground, fell headlong, and died violently. At this moment, everyone looked at Ning Luo in astonishment. They couldn't believe that Ning Luo actually dared to kill, and more importantly, not only did he dare to kill, but he was also so skilled in killing. Although it was a little uncomfortable to kill someone, he was mentally prepared before he did it. He understands that in this cruel world of the weaker prey to the strong, he doesn't know how much blood he will have in the future. If he is afraid of killing, then he is not worthy of being in this world. Ning Luo took a long breath, adjusted his own mentality, then raised his eyes and looked at other people. He understands that the first move is better. Suddenly, when he moved close to the end of the world, he rushed out instantly, condensing the power of thunder in his hand, and struck the leader of the Eagle Claw mercenary group with a punch. Capture the thieves first, capture the king first, as long as the head of the group is killed, the others will no longer have the power to resist. Ning Luo tried to restrain his own heart and kept himself extremely calm. The power of thunder suddenly smashed against the head of the Eagle Claw mercenary corps. Jia Jia, the commander of the Eagle Claw mercenary group suddenly sneered, Good boy, don't see, you are actually a fighting master. With that, he stretched out his hand to block Ning Luo's this strike. Boom, there was a loud noise. The head of the regiment took a few steps back. He looked at Ning Luo in surprise. He couldn't believe that this kid had such a powerful force. 
If it weren't for his instinctive block, I'm afraid he would definitely suffer a lot from eating this strike. Serious injury. How is it possible? At the moment when the head was surprised, Ning Luo's body suddenly jumped out. Ning Luo knew how powerful this group leader was, and he might not be able to kill the group leader for a while. So he temporarily changed his strategy and killed these men first. Suddenly, Ning Luo stretched out his right hand. Purple lightning continued to condense in his right hand, and the purple electricity condensed into an electric knife, which he held in his hand. Said it as a knife, it is better to say that it is the appearance of a knife that gathers together. The reason why Ning Luo didn't directly attack with purple electricity was because if he condensed the purple electricity into a knife and used his own movement technique to kill, it would be more grudge. He will have to face the regimental commander afterwards. If he runs out of grudge against these men, then he has no chance of winning. He possesses the wind attribute cultivation technique, so above the speed, it is very fast, even the group leader, the speed cannot keep up with him. The others are all fighters, and the stars are not very high, so their speed can't keep up with Ning Luo even more. Suddenly, Ning Luo flashed in front of a person, and the purple electric knife suddenly swung out. Hand up and down, nourishment, suddenly, Blood surged above the man's neck, and his head flew out. Fall to the ground death. Kill him for me, shouted the regimental commander. Two of his men were already dead. If a kid caused them huge casualties, then their Eagle Claw mercenary corps wouldn't have to mess around on the road. At this moment, everyone pounced on Ning Luo. However, Ning Luo's speed was nowhere near that they could catch up. Ning Luo suddenly stepped out of the crowd, and the electric knife in his hand swung down. Seeing that the two were killed by Ning Luo again, blood spurted. The group leader roared, and immediately rushed towards Ning Luo, but Ning Luo's speed was not comparable to that of the group leader. Ning Luo jumped into the middle of the two again in an instant, and coldly said, Die. The electric knife in his hand danced gorgeously, cutting directly into the lower abdomen of the two of them, and the two of them were cut off in an instant. Ning Luo's electric knife is not a knife, but Ning Luo's fighting skills, thunderous. The electric knife condensed from the lightning released by Thunderbolt, so the sharpness can be imagined. Cutting people is no different from cutting melons. In just an instant, five or six of the Eagle Claw mercenary group had died, and the group leader's eyes became red, and he roared hysterically, Boy, I will kill you. He was helpless, his speed was not as fast as Ning Luo, so he could only watch Own's men being killed by Ning Luo one by one. Really. I'm afraid I will kill all your men before you catch me. Ning Luo said coldly. As he said, his body jumped out again and came to a few people again. With a wave of the electric knife, blood splattered, all fell to the ground and died, and there was no room for resistance. Ning Luo's figure is charming, very fast. And those subordinates are all under Ning Luo, cultivation technique is definitely not as good as Ning Luo, so no one can stop Ning Luo from chasing after him. Ning Luo was like a bloodthirsty devil at this moment, with the electric knife in his hand, the electric light was released, and a person fell behind him. The head of the group followed Ning Luo, but there was no way. He could only watch Own's men being killed one by one. Boy, I hate it. When I catch you, Carter will kill you a thousand times. The head roared loudly. But Ning Luo ignored him and rushed out, ruthlessly killing all of Carter's men. More than a dozen subordinates, without a single exception, all died in the hands of Ning Luo. At this moment, Ning Luo listened. He opened the jade bottle and ate two chi recovery pills. Then stood still, staring at Carter quietly. That's right, he is not going to run, since Carter's men have been killed by him, now, only the leader is left. Ning Luo faced Carter, but he had no fear at all. He has a supreme divine body, a heavenly cultivation technique, and four attributes. If he can't beat even a fighting master, then what is his golden finger used for? Boy, don't you run away, Carter said coldly. Gloomily staring at Ning Luo who was smiling calmly, Carter raised his spear slowly, and the fighting energy in his body began to rush quickly under the urging of the killing intent. On the surface of the body, the light blue fighting energy gradually broke. After coming out, Finally a thin cyan fighting gauze was formed outside the body. The energy gauze that catalyzes fighting chi into a possessed body is a symbol of a strong fighter. 
This energy gauze can not only enhance the owner's defense, speed, and attack, but also can better absorb energy from the outside world. To supplement the consumption of the owner's body, so almost every fighting master, the first action when fighting is to summon the fighting spirit gauze. Ning Luo smiled, and also summoned out the fighting gauze. If you don't run, how can I kill you again? Ning Luo sneered. What an arrogant tone, Carter sternly said, his face getting more and more gloomy, he has died so many subordinates, he can't wait to smash Ning Luo's body. The palm of his hand was rubbing slowly on the spear. When the fighting spirit in his body became more and more turbulent, Carter suddenly let out a low drink, his soul slammed on the ground, and his body shot away at Ning Luo. The spear in his hand, with a slight tremor, a few snow-white spears danced out of thin air. Boy, you killed so many of my brothers, I will kill you today and avenge them. He roared, Ning Luo killed so many brothers before, and his infinite grief broke out at this moment. He originally thought that Ning Luo would run away, but he did not expect that Ning Luo would take the initiative to fight him. At this time, it was a good opportunity for him to take revenge, so he wanted to kill. Thousands of pieces of the corpse can't calm his hatred. Facing Carter's vicious attack, Ning Luo retreated slightly, and the electric knife in his hand kept resisting Carter's spear. Ding ding dong dang. As the two moved, every time the spear and the electric knife confronted each other, sparks and a series of crisp sounds would be splashed. The tricky spear tore through the obstacles of the air, with a sharp sound, pierced out like lightning, and the electric knife was also hurriedly upright, wanting to shut it out again. However, just when the spear was about to be fired on the electric knife, the gun body trembled slightly, and the spearhead shook suddenly, unexpectedly bypassing the electric knife's obstruction. The successful dodge made Carter's eyes narrowed slightly, and a flash of chill flashed in his eyes, his palm suddenly hit the gun handle, and the spear lima shot at Ning Luo's neck. Bang! Looking at the tricky gun tip, Ning Luo leaned back in a hurry, and an explosion sounded from the soles of his feet on the ground, and his body suddenly shot backwards. Far away, seeing that Ning Luo's speed increased sharply, Carter also drew in a low voice, tapping his toes on the ground, his body surged, and his body was like a fallen leaf in a violent wind, flashing away at Ningluo, and at the same time, the long spear in his hand, gunman vomited again. Looking at Carter, who was chasing after him, Ningluo frowned, his thoughts flashed by lightning, Ningluo's body leapt, and his feet bounced back fiercely. At the moment of contact with the ground, the soles of the feet were covered with purple vindictive energy, and the legs were slightly curled. There was an explosion, and the fierce counter-thrust force shot Ning Luo's body fiercely. Being in mid-air, with the help of the ferocious thrust generated by the end of the world, at this moment, the electric knife in Ning Luo's hand began to change, the electric knife gradually became longer and became a spear. After taking full advantage, mixed with fierce and unparalleled energy, he held his spear and shot directly at Carter. The fierce energy brought by the shadow on the top of his head made Carter frown slightly, and the spear in his hand violently turned, and there was a low shout. The tip of the spear was instantly wrapped in a faint blue wind, and the wind swept across it, and the surrounding air seemed to be torn apart. After the spear stagnated for a while, there was a sound of breaking wind that pierced the eardrum. The tips of the two spears collided. Boom! There was a loud noise. A huge explosion exploded among them, and both of them were retreated a few steps, and Carter's hand trembled slightly. It was obvious that this time he fought back. How can it be? He couldn't believe that Ning Luo was just a 14 five-year-old young man, how could he have such a powerful force? He coldly said, kill. Suddenly, the billowing thunder and lightning condensed in his hands, and arcs continued to gather around. The cold voice of the hard made Denning Luo's fist suddenly filled with shocking ferocity. The fist was clenched, and the pressure of tearing the air was heard, and he faced Carter's body, who had become sluggish. Smash it back. The strong and fierce energy that suddenly hid behind made Carter's face change wildly, the electric knife in his hand hurriedly let go, and then the fighting energy in his body surged, and the fighting chi gauze on the surface of his body became much thicker again. In an instant, Carter had only time to prepare so much. When he had just thickened the defense of the fighting gauze, Ning Luo's thunderous force reached his back fiercely. Boom! The dull sound of contact sounded in the forest, although it was low, but it contained a sense of solid strength. 
The fierce energy coming from behind directly made Carter's face white, and his body rushed forward. Fortunately, at the last moment, he supported the ground with his palms and rolled a few volleys in midair. At the end, his body staggered. A few meters away. His body just stood firm, before he could turn around to counterattack, Carter's face changed again, and his heart turned at will. The raging vindictive energy in his body quickly sneaked in from his back and wrapped it in. When his vindictive spirit was wrapped up, Ning Luo, who was not far away, whispered, Blast! Boom! There was another low muffled sound, Carter's body trembled violently, and there was a painful muffled hum from his throat, and a blood stain at the corner of his mouth appeared dazzlingly. Okay, okay. Dot boy, I really underestimated you. Wiping off the blood from the corners of his mouth, Carter's face was filled with a hideous look. He stared at Ning Luo spitefully, gritted his teeth, his tongue moved slightly, swallowed a bloodthirsty pill hidden in his mouth, and then felt it. The vindictiveness in the body gradually recovered. Suddenly, the fighting spirit in his body was constantly skyrocketing. Ning Luo said how he knew that this bloodthirsty snake could refine a bloodthirsty pill, but he did not expect that he would hide a bloodthirsty pill. I bought this bloodthirsty pill to save my life, but I didn't expect it to be used on you today. This is what you forced me to die. The spear slammed on the ground suddenly, and Carter sneered. The vindictive gauze on the surface of his body began to gradually dissipate, and the fine iron spear began to be covered with a thick layer of cyan vindictiveness. Watching Ning Luo's actions coldly, the grudge on the spear in Carter's hand became more and more intense, and in the end, while the grudge was tossing, it turned out to be faintly forming an energy lion head looking up to the sky and howling. Looking at the fighting spirit lion head condensed on the spear tip, Carter's eyes flashed with joy, and a grinning smile appeared at the corner of his mouth again. There was a sudden strange tremor of the spear in his hand. After a moment, the palm of his foot slammed on the ground, boy, die. Looking up at the energy mad lion attached to the spear, Ning Luo's face was also solemn, and he slowly let out a sigh of vindictiveness in his body. At this moment, he mobilized the vindictiveness around his body. The condensed and kept gathering, forming an electric ball, causing the surrounding space to look a little fuzzy and distorted. Bring it on, the young man's low drink, the strong breath constantly swept out. Ning Luo faced Carter, coldly said, Thunderbolt. In the light of the sky, the electric arc in Ning Luo's hand suddenly slashed down in anger, and a large number of purple electric lights burst out from Ning Luo's hand. Wherever he passed, the ground was destroyed into a mess. The deep gully spread from the feet of Ning Luo to the front of Carter who was attacking. The intense pressure in the air and the blazing temperature made Carter's eyes flashed with horror. He did not expect that the mysterious fighting skills used by the young man in front of him would have reached this level of power. I gritted my teeth. At this time, I didn't shrink back, because I would die if I retreated. Carter, who knew this very well, had to pour the vindictiveness in his body into the spear without death, and then bombarded it with the purple electric light. Boom, the huge violent sound almost overturned the courtyard. At the junction of Hong Meng and Carter, huge cracks spread like a spider web. Amidst the red light, the space was slightly silent, and immediately a shadow shot out, spraying blood in midair, and finally was smashed and shot on the rock. Suddenly, a rock was turned into ruins, filled with smoke. At this moment, I saw Carter's body curled up among the rocks, his body was directly penetrated by a boulder, and blood was vomiting at the mouth. His vitality is gone, he is dead. Ning Luo looked at the dead Carter and finally heaved a sigh of relief. Ning Luo quickly ate two Chi Chi pills, then sat under the tree and began to recuperate. After recuperating, Ning Luo took the magic core of the bloodthirsty snake and walked towards Yun Lanzong step by step. After walking for a long time, Ning Luo finally saw the towering mountain top, and Ning Luo took a long breath. He finally reached Yunlin Mountain. He walked up the steps and walked up the steps step by step. Now, he wants to return to Yunlanzong as soon as possible and see the master quickly. Ning Luo finally returned to Yunlanzong. At this time, the gatekeeper of Yunlanzong saw that it was Ning Luo, and he quickly saluted, I have seen the little brother. They are both outer sect disciples of Yunlanzong, but they have all heard that Yunlanzong has a genius junior. They understand in their hearts that the younger junior is a disciple of Yunlanzong's sect leader, and the next sect leader must be Ningluo's, so they treated Ningluo very politely. 
Ning Luo nodded, and then walked towards Yun Lanzong. Along the way, no matter it was the senior brothers and sisters, they always greeted Ning Luo constantly. Ning Luo was also very polite and polite. Finally, he came to the inner courtyard. The first thing he did when he came back was to please the master. He came to the place where Yun Yun usually was. Yun Yun walked out with Nalan Yanren. At this time, Ning Luo also came out and stood in front of Yun Yun. Yun Yun and Nalan Yanren were very surprised when they saw Ning Luo. Brother, Nalan Yanren exclaimed, Brother, are you back? Nalan Yanren's small face was filled with a smile, obviously Ning Luo came back, she was very happy. Yun Yun's face didn't change much, she still looked calm. But Ning Luo could see a little joy from the calmness of her. Life for so many years, Yun Yun truly regarded Ning Luo as his apprentice, his family. Well, master, Yan Ran, I'm back. Ning Luo smiled. Yun Yun's calm face showed a rare smile and said, just come back. Okay, let's go back first. Yun Yun took Ning Luo and Nalan Yanren to the sect leader hall. This is where Yun Yun usually cultivates, and no one bothers. Yun Yun smiled and looked at Ning Luo with a smile. Okay, Xiao Luo, what have you experienced in the past few months? Tell me about it for my teacher and your junior sister. Ning Luo smiled, and then began to talk about what happened in the past few months. But of course he could not say that he went to the Xiao family and recognized own little sister, so he omitted the story of the Xiao family, told the story of Xiao Yixian lightly, and then recounted what happened. After listening to Ning Luo's account, Nalan Yanren couldn't help but opened her mouth wide, looking at senior brother Own in surprise. She didn't expect that senior brother Own was so powerful that she would kill the two-star fighting master. When she heard Ning Luo fighting the two-star battle division, Yun Yun couldn't help but feel frightened, and she felt a little frightened in her heart. After the greeting, Ning Luo returned to Own residence. At this time, Nalan Yanren came to Ning Luo's room. Ning Luo looked at Nalan Yanren, somewhat shocked. Little junior sister, you are. Brother, can I sleep with you? Nalan Yanren looked at Ning Luo and asked. What are you talking about, sleep together? Ning Luo looked at Nalan Yanren and asked. Yes, brother is not willing. Nalan Yanren looked at Ning Luo and asked. At this time, Nalan Yanren, dressed in a wide-sleeved tight-fitting moon-white robe, held on the willow waist with Yingying, and tied a light silver belt, which just happened to show the slender waist perfectly. Occasionally, the graceful curve underneath is highlighted. In the comparison of the figure, she seems to be no less inferior to the concubine. The jade hands are like catkins, the skin is like fat, the eyebrows are crooked, and there is a faint hint of dust and grace between the clever smiles, and it is indifferent from thousands of miles. Between her delicate earlobes, a pair of green jade pendants hung, and the jade pendant made a slight ding-dong sound as the jade pendant shook, as if a mountain spring and a reef played a moving movement. Yan Ran, don't make trouble, go back to your own room. Looking at Nalan Yanren like this, Ning Luo was afraid that he couldn't help eating Nalan Yanren. At this time, I saw Nalan Yanren staring at Ning Luo, fluffing up her hair, and looking at Ning Luo with a smile. Ning Luo big brother, I'm ready, Ning Luo big brother can do whatever he wants. Quote. Under the moonlight, Nalan Yanren's chunchui eyes looked at Ning Luo. Ning Luo also looked at own Nalan Yanren affectionately. Ning Luo is definitely not just greedy for Nalan Yanren. Perhaps it can be said that Nalan Yanren knows her best. All kinds of emotions were aroused at a moment. Junior sister. Nalan Yanren nodded. At this time, Ning Luo embraced Nalan Yanren and kissed Nalan Yanren gently. Nalan Yanren did not refuse, but took the initiative to welcome her. Ning Luo hugged Nalan Yanren and kissed gently. Ning Luo big brother, why are you so naughty? Nalan Yanren's eyes flowed out like a stream of spring water, flooding endlessly. At this time, Nalan Yanren pushed Ning Luo back onto the bed. Nalan Yanren sat down slowly. Then he took out the cultivation technique that he signed in, and immediately said, Junior sister, let's try this. Nalan Yanren looked at the cultivation technique in Ning Luo's hand, picked it up, and muttered, Yin and Yang dual cultivation dafa. Nalan Yanren slowly opened the cultivation technique, and started dual cultivation with Ning Luo according to the book. Yin and Yang reconciles, nourishes Yin and nourishes Yang. Ning Luo big brother, is that right? Nalan Yanren said, only to see the two of them meditating in mind. 
Shu Shu's spiritual qi was continuously injected into the bodies of the two of them. At this moment, they had a strange feeling. Their bodies suddenly became ethereal and seemed to have reached an unprecedented height. The billowing spiritual qi was injected into Ningluo's qi si, constantly nourishing the vindictive spirit in Ningluo's qi si. Nalan Yanran also looked intoxicated. With a ruddy face, he looked at Ning Luo and said, Ning Luo big brother, I made a breakthrough. Ding, sleep with Nalan Yanran and get a chance to sign in. Ding, cultivate with Nalan Yanran and get a chance to sign in. Ding, Ning Luo and Nalan Yanran also tried many times, allowing Ning Luo to constantly get the chance to sign in. I have to say that Ning Luo's system is really good. As long as you contact the goddess, you can get the opportunity to sign in. Ning Luo lived in Yunlanzong. Since he and his junior sister Nalan Yanran tasted the forbidden fruit, Nalan Yanran has come to Ning Luo almost every day. Ning Luo was also very comfortable in the Yunlan sect. The two are also very happy. However, it seems that own master Union has found some clues. After all, Ning Luo and Nalan Yanran are both Yun Yun's disciples. It's strange that Ning Luo and Nalan Yanran are so messy that they don't show their feet. However, Ning Luo was not afraid, and if it was a big deal, he would have a showdown with the master. Moreover, even if it is Master Yun Yun, one of Ning Luo's goddesses, Ning Luo also wants to attack Yun Yun together. Ning Luo sat on the top of Yunlin Mountain. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in successfully and getting the seal of ground level fighting skills. Ding, congratulations to the host for signing in successfully and getting the ground level fighting skills and dragon hand. Ding, congratulations to the host for successfully signing in and getting the 6th rank medicine pill. Ning Luo has signed in countless medicine pill cultivation techniques and fighting techniques. Moreover, under the dual cultivation of Nalan Yanran, Ning Luo's strength was also rapidly ascension. Ning Luo now has another star, and his strength is already the strength of a 3-star fighter. And this time, Yun Lanzong suddenly held a pill refining meeting. Yunlin sect also has many pharmacists, and this pill refining conference is held to train those pharmacists. As a pharmacist, Ning Luo naturally also participates in this pill refining conference. The pharmacist meeting began. Ning Luo and Nalan Yanran came to the court. I saw that Ning Luo and Nalan Yanran were very close. Nalan Yanran took Ning Luo's hand and came to the arena. Ning Luo and Nalan Yanran, talented and beautiful, envied many of them. At this time, Ning Luo met two old friends here. That's right, Dan Wang Guhei and his apprentice Lu Ling. After all, he is the registered elder of Lanzong Yun, and he is the consultant of the alchemist, so in this game, he serves as the judge. And his disciple Lu Ling wants to participate in this conference. At this time, Lu Ling looked at Nalan Yanran. His eyes suddenly showed a hot look. Then, he looked at Ning Luo. Ning Luo, the last time you made me so embarrassed, this time, I will defeat you in alchemy and trample you under your feet. Lu Ling sneered. At this moment, Lu Ling walked out, looked at Ning Luo, and coldly said, Ning Luo, do you think your alchemy skills are very strong? I have got the master's true biography, don't you say you don't need the master to teach? Then do you dare to try it with me to see if you are good at self-learning without a teacher, or if my true medicine alchemy is good? How about it? Dare to compare. Lu Ling looked at Ning Luo coldly. Lu Ling looked at Ning Luo gloomily. Moreover, last time he was ashamed in front of Ning Luo and Nalan Yanran, so he wanted revenge. And now, it's a good time for revenge. He wants to find all the faces he once lost, and he wants to step on Ning Luo under own's feet. Ning Luo looked at Lu Ling and smiled faintly, Oh, you mean you want to compare medicinal techniques with me? Although Ning Luo didn't have the master's teaching, he had the encyclopedia of refining medicine, and he didn't lack the money to buy medicinal materials. Therefore, the medicine pill he refined was almost several times that of Lu Ling's medicine pill. Whether it was medicine refining experience, fire level, or talent, Ning Luo didn't know how many times Lu Ling was ahead. But he didn't expect Lu Ling to take the initiative to make an appointment. But that's okay, I can really frustrate his spirit. Lu Ling looked at Ning Luo mockingly, and said with a sneer, Why, don't you dare to compete? Ning Luo smiled slightly, he he. Since you want to compare, how can you do without a bet? What do you use to compare with me? 
If you lose, leave Yunlin sect and leave Nalan Yanran. Lu Ling said coldly. Oh, what if you lose? Ning Luo asked. My dignified Pill King is a serious disciple, how could I lose to you? Lu Ling replied. Ning Luo smiled, if you lose, I won't let you leave your school. After all, you are so good as a master and apprentice. How am I ashamed to dismantle you? If you lose, you just have to kneel down and apologize. Okay, I promise you. Lu Ling said coldly. At this time, Yun Yun's expression fluctuated a little, and she looked at Ning Luo. Ning Luo smiled and said, Master, please believe me. Yun Yun nodded, then stepped aside. With that, they began to refine medicine pill. Because there are medicinal materials everywhere in Furukawa, Lu Ling went to find many medicinal materials and came to Furukawa. Furukawa looked at him and said, Don't let me down. Master, don't worry, I will definitely step on that kid Ning Luo. Lu Ling said coldly. Lu Ling came to the pill furnace, a red flame ignited in his hand, and then began to add medicinal herbs into the pill furnace. Then, he began to refine medicine pill continuously, and he refined medicine pill carefully, for fear of a little negligence. He concentrated his attention, his head was already sweating, because he wanted to win, he had to win. So he must refine this medicine pill. The medicine pill he refined is called bone surgery pill, which is a very good healing medicine pill. Once it is successfully refined, it will definitely be the advanced medicine pill among the second tier medicine pills. If he refines this medicine pill, then, he is almost invincible in the second rank medicine pill, as long as he is refined, he will win. Ning Luo, I will definitely beat you, I must step on you. There was a low growl from his neck, and the whole person went crazy. On Ning Luo's side, he chose some medicinal materials very easily, and then he didn't use pill furnace, pill furnace, only those who had insufficient flame strength and were not very skilled in flame control would use it. However, Ning Luo's current flame strength was completely sufficient, and he had the confidence to compete with Furukawa for his proficiency in flames. I saw a crimson flame ignited in Ning Luo's hand. A group of crimson earth fire flames spit out. Immediately, Ning Luo held it in his palm. Wow, crimson earth fire flame. There was a burst of exclamation. In Furukawa, there are not only Furukawa masters and apprentices, but also many subordinates and handymen. After they saw Ningluo's crimson flame, they were very surprised. Crimson flame. Looking at the crimson flame in Ningluo's palm, Furukawa was slightly taken aback, surprised, as this flame a beast fire. The crimson flame leapt like a spirit above Ningluo's palm. After a while, Ningluo's palm flicked lightly, and the crimson flame was thrown directly into the fire. Suddenly, the raging crimson flame was in the palm of the hand. It rises and burns, and it heats up quickly. When the temperature of the flame rose to a certain limit, Ningluo placed his palm against the mouth of the fire, slowly closing his eyes, and the soul power rose out, gradually controlling the rise of the flame. Ningluo can be said to be one of the best because of his control over the flames, so at this time Ningluo accurately controlled the flames. The crimson flames, under the control of Ningluo's soul power, suppress the own temperature very submissively. After the slightest resistance, after such a moment, Ningluo's palm moved, and a medicinal plant on the stone platform was sucked into his hand, gently squeezed, and suddenly the flames surged up and quickly wrapped it. With his eyes closed, Ning Luo frowned slightly, using his soul perception, slowly refining medicinal materials, refining medicine pill, the refining of medicinal materials must reach a certain degree, sometimes the purity is higher or lower. All will lead to the failure of refining, and it is precisely because of this that orthodox prescriptions are particularly important, because most orthodox prescriptions have detailed records on the boundaries of the refinement purity of medicinal materials. Finally, Ning Luo used the crimson flame to continuously refine, and a round medicine pill appeared in Ning Luo's hands. At this time, Lu Ling's refining was over. Lu Ling held the medicine pill in his hand, with a look of surprise on his face. Obviously, he was very happy because he had successfully refined it. He refined the second-rank senior medicine pill bone injury pill. The victory definitely belongs to him. Furukawa looked at Lu Ling and Ning Luo and said, since the refining is successful, it is time to verify medicine pill. What I came to verify is definitely not fair, so I have contacted several alchemists and they will verify it in person. Quote, 
At this time, Ning Luo smiled and said, Don't bother. As soon as this statement came out, everyone looked at Ning Luo in amazement. Do not invite others to appraise. Judging by Furukawa, Furukawa will obviously favor his own apprentice, isn't Ning Luo clearly losing? Very well, Ning Luo, since you said no, then don't have to. Furukawa sneered. He had never seen such a stupid person. Hearing what Ning Luo said, whether it was Furukawa or Lu Ling, the corners of their mouths sneered. Don't say that you have refined the second rank high level medicine pill bone injury pill, even if you refine the general second rank medicine pill yourself, if it is the own master identification, you will win by yourself. The gap between the second rank medicine pill is not big, so even if there is a little gap, isn't it just a sentence or two from his master? So, obviously, Ning Luo was defeated. Well, if that's the case, then please show the medicine pill. Furukawa sneered. Furukawa nodded towards Lu Ling. Lu Ling smiled, if this is the case, let me show it first. Clang. At a certain moment, the crisp sound of patting the tripod rang above the square. Lu Ling took the lead to retake the palm of his hand on the human cauldron, and the ding guy was ejected. A round medicine pill flew out, and then he jumped and grabbed it into his hand. The pride on his face was hard to conceal. This is Bone Surge Pill, the second-rank senior medicine pill. Lu Ling handed the medicine pill to Furukawa. Looking at the medicine pill made by Lu Ling, Furukawa nodded in satisfaction. At this time, Furukawa looked at Ning Luo and said, Ning Luo, where is your medicine pill? Ning Luo slowly opened his hand, and immediately the medicine pill flew. The round medicine pill was dazzling and dazzling. A golden light radiated from the medicine pill, extremely dazzling. At this moment, everyone saw the golden light released from medicine pill. They were stunned. Medicine pill was able to release light. This is enough to show that the quality of medicine pill is very good. From this golden light, it can be seen that the quality of Ningluo medicine pill is better than Lu Ling's. Seeing the golden light released, Lu Ling's complexion suddenly changed. He had already refined the second rank high level medicine pill. Could it be that Ningluo actually refined a medicine pill with a higher rank than himself? He remembered clearly that when Ningluo left, he was only a first rank pharmacist. In just a few months, did Ningluo become a second rank pharmacist? Ning Luo held the medicine pill with his hand and looked at Ji Yu Hidao. Do you know why I don't need to ask other alchemists to identify it? Why? Furukawa asked back. Ning Luo smiled and asked. Furukawa, although you are just a hypocrite, you are indeed a senior when you practice the pill recipe. Since you are a senior, then I ask you, second rank medicine pill and third rank medicine pill, which a medicine pill is better? Furukawa looked at Ning Luo coldly and said, Although each grade of medicine pill has a distinction between high and low, no matter how good the second rank medicine pill is, it cannot be as good as the third rank medicine pill. Well, that's what you said. Then you can announce the result of the game. Ning Luo looked at him and said. What do you mean? Furukawa looked at Ning Luo and asked. Ha ha, as the sixth rank pharmacist, can't you see it? I refining the third rank medicine pill Guyuan pill. Ning Luo smiled. At this moment, the audience was silent. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.